Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Sometimes I come off as uh, mild-mannered, and I like to keep it that way uh, because it calms people down. I like to approach situations with a calm, uh, mild manner, and uh, if I have to step it up, then I do, and... Uh, take control of the situation. All right, we just got a call. It's an unknown trouble call where this male called in, said that he uh, needed police and then hung up. So they're unavailable to get a hold of him again. I'm not showing any previous, sir. 24 is going to be on the right. How you doing? Did you call? All right. No. I'm not no. Here. How you doing? Did you call us? How you doing, sir? Did you call us? No. No. Just a friend visiting up here. Okay. I don't know these people. I don't know these drunks. They're drinking in the parking lot. Oh, okay. And, uh, that's all I know. So they're bothering you? Nothing else. They're bothering you? No, sir. That's my that's my temper. That's your temper? Yes, what? it is. Okay. I'm being honest. Why should I lie? Are they your friends? Uh, one of them was my uncle. The other guy, I really don't know him. Okay. Are you having an argument with them? Uh, no, we're just talking. Go ahead and stand in front of the car for me. St stand in front of the car. What? Stand in front of the car. Okay. Control three easy. Uh, it seems to be 417 related. Can you get a Spanish speaker in here? Talk to me. Let him go, sir. He did that wrong. Do you have any guns, anything on you? No, I don't have anything Let me just check, okay? Take me, because I'm not... Get on the ground. <laughs> Get on the I'm ground okay, now. I am. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You want 50,000 okay. volts? Get on I'm the okay, ground sir. now. I'm okay. Three easy, 416. You want to hit me? Get on the ground. Okay, that's all right. Get on the ground now. That's all right, that's all right. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Give me your hand. You guys want me to sit? Put your feet out. Put your feet out. You have ID? Yes, sir. Accept the thing. Can I change? Grab me a string. Two step. Stand up. Stand up. Let's go. Grab me a whistle. No, His ID's right. on the ground over here. What happened? Now you heard me coming back? Oh, Lord. Stand right there. Now, this is the, the guy that called. He's mad at his uncle. We're in front of my car. He said, I don't have any problems. These guys are just drinking in my parking lot. I don't want them here. They started coming out here, tried to pat them down. That's when he started to fight. And here we are now. I guess he got a little bloody. Which finger is it? This middle one. I think it was when I was 
my, my uh, hand was on the ground. And I was trying to t uh, get him in custody still. He was still fighting. I pulled my hand out, and uh, I think that's when I got uh, caught on a rock. Basically, he started coming toward me. Uh, I think he was the one that was uh, was calling the police and then hung, hang up, hung up on the, uh, the operators. So uh, when he get here, he's yelling, I don't have anything to do with it. And uh, these two gentlemen in front of my car here were uh, just standing out here in the parking lot. He's yelling from the balcony. They didn't do anything wrong, let him go. He started walking down. When I go to, to get his hands, to, to put him behind his back, to give him a pat down for weapons, he began pulling away from me. And at that time, he began to uh, struggle with me and got in a little um, tussle and got down to the ground. All right, this guy actually called the police. Okay. The, uh, the guy in the cowboy hat here lives upstairs where the, with the open door. The guy in the blue shirt um, came over to ask about a car that the guy in the cowboy hat has for sale. Okay. This is cowboy hat guy's uh, nephew. Okay. So they're talking about the car and the nephew comes out. He's drunk or looks like he's high to me, but right. uh, he starts yelling at the, at the guy in the blue shirt about something. The guy's like, hey, I don't want to fight with you. So he called the police and then I guess you showed up and wound up fighting with this guy. So. I got the uh, tail end of his anger, right? Well, that's the uh, end of a, an eventful day. The last event being a little scuffle, which I got a little cut from it, but that'll heal over time. I'm going to fix my uniform a little bit, but he's off to jail for obstructing a police officer, and uh, we get to go home tonight. What we're doing tonight is we're going to work I-75. It runs uh, right through the heart of Lee County. Historically, it's proven to be a, a major thoroughfare for narcotics, uh, stolen goods, a lot of stolen heavy equipment comes up the highway. We just use existing state statutes and our laws to, to conduct our traffic stops. We're going to stop this vehicle northbound. It's got a right rear brake light out. I'll be monitoring northbound. I'm going to stop one up about the 147 for uh, 1 to 10. Tag on. It breaks out, too. It's right rear brake light is out. Yeah, if he stops. So don't want to throw anything out the window and watch it wet when we get up there. Hands up on the steering wheel, man. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Go ahead and turn the car off. Stop, you got a brake light going down. You have your driver's license with you? Keep your hand right up where you can see him, okay? What took you so long to pull over? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Daniel still live in Newport Ritchie? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from tonight? Uh, Palm Beach County, sir. Palm Beach? Yes, sir. Okay, what are you doing over there? Well, I'm coming home. Uh, oh, is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Whose funeral was it? That's my brother's own. Brother? Oh, man. What happened? Well, he was murdered in Fort Myers. So. so, but he got buried where at? Um, I'm, oh, I'm reaching for the club. I was going to get my... Uh, Don't worry about it. We'll get it later. Okay. What happened to him? Oh, uh, he was murdered in Fort Myers. So. What happened? Um, K-9, can I? Okay, Go ahead, sir. What happened? What happened, Daniel? Um, you don't have to get the camera. What's going on? Keep your hands right down the wheel. Yes, for me, okay? sir. I got drugs in the car. How much do you have? I don't know. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just turn around right in your seat. I'm going to have you step out for me, okay? I want you to behave yourself when you come out. And you treat, yes, I'll treat you like a man. You treat me like a man, okay? Just spin around. I'm going to put these on just for a second until we figure out what's going on, okay? Yes, step right around. Put your hand behind your back, all right? Daniel, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you can't have an attorney, we'll provide one. Um, you can stop answering anytime until you talk to a lawyer, okay? Notice you got crack all over you, man. Were you trying to throw it out of the car when we were pulling you over? Nope. All right, where did it go? No, it's in the car. How much is it? 
Did you try to eat some? Yeah. All right, you want us to call you an ambulance? How much did you eat? No, I, I, I hopefully I'll be all right. Well, how much did you eat? I, don't, I didn't. I don't think I ate nothing. You didn't get it down? How many pieces did you think you ate? I'm worried about you. I don't want you to start having a heart attack or something. I mean, how many pieces do you think you ate? I don't think I, I don't think I got any down. It was disgusting. Four to ten. Well, yeah. Four. My sergeant here is going to stand with you for a second. He ate a little crack when we pulled him over. He's got a bunch of it on him. It's co he's covered in it. So we're going to check the car. Are you sure you don't want us to call you an ambulance because you ate a little bit? Daniel, we're going to we're going to check the car now to see if there's anything else in there. Is there any guns, drugs, no, weapons? Sir, there's nothing else that what's in there right now. How there's many pieces did we start off with? I don't know. How I many? don't know. How many do you think? You bought it. I don't know. Sarge, if you want to go ahead and, and put him in the back of Eddie's car. Right here. Yeah, there's crack throughout the vehicle. You can see it. When we pulled him over, he took a really long time to Ooh, pull over. There's a lot down here um, in the seat, too. Looked like he was probably either trying to eat it. Uh, he admits that he was trying to eat some of it, Eddie, when we pulled him over, so uh, right. didn't get, get any of it down. Get some gloves, because it looks like he had it, some of it in his mouth. He yeah, he out. chewed it all up here. This actually looks like big bars of soap. It's crack. I bet he ate it. He tried. When we came up, he was still he was still yeah, fighting he ate, it down. He ate a little bit. As soon as I pulled him over, you could see it. It was covered on his chest and on his face. He had it everywhere. Pegged 100 miles out to get yeah. here from Oh, sitting there, was, he started going in with his brother just got murdered, and he, he couldn't even stay with his fake story. He was he was too ate up with the, with, the, with the drugs in his system. Let me get some rubber gloves. OK. Just a swab test kit. If you react to uh, the presence of the cocaine, if you touch it, it should turn blue. You can see it's turning some of the cocaine itself blue. So it's positive. And you can see wherever here where he had the uh, the bag right here that he he tried to chew up the baggie that he had it in, and then end up spitting the baggie out too. Uh, if you will, would you please let me get my girl's number out of the phone? Let me please notify my family what's going on right now. They 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 won't and know what's going on with me. I, I know that I'm in trouble and that I'm going to jail right now. I would like to notify my family. Would you please, officer, allow me to? That seems reasonable. We'll make sure you call your family, okay? Well, well, can I can I get the number? I need the number. I don't have the yeah, number. It's the it's my going anywhere for a little while. Daniel, we're not gonna take off. I'll, I'll get the number, sir. Anything in no. your underwear, Daniel? No, sir. You no, know he's gonna check. I know he's gonna check, sir. So I don't have nothing. All right, cool. Don't worry about it. Not a violent guy whatsoever. Yeah, kind of way. I appreciate that. Okay. It's like to get high. Uh, this is more than a than a typical user would do. Oh, this this is for resale here. Uh, probably going to be a little over maybe 20 or 30 grams. Uh, so you're talking maybe a couple thousand dollars worth of crack. Most of the time, when you catch a guy dead to rights and he's got it on him, they're going to at least try to say it's for personal use. When you're caught, you got to come up with some excuse. But you know, I think it would take a even a, a hardcore crackhead. A long time to smoke all of that. What are you placed under arrest tonight? Is you're placed under arrest for possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. I found that much drugs in your car, on you, all around you, that it's more than an average person would use to smoke. Okay, so that's what you're going to go to jail with tonight. Um, you'll be transported to jail just here in a little bit, and your vehicle is going to be seized. It's going to be taken away from you. You can't use this vehicle in a commission of a crime. All right, you're out there selling this poison to kids and everybody else. This gentleman over here, we're going to transport you down to jail. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to a call. Some ladies complaining about some juveniles playing basketball in their house. So the, the basketball court used to be down the street, and they moved it. She don't know why, and she wants them to leave. So we're going to go check this out for this lady. Fourteen or two, Alfred County. I'm not so. This is dumb. Hey. Okay, Ma'am. How old are you? 16. Well, how long has that basketball court been there? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's uh, ours. Whose? It's uh, ours. Ours is who? You? Yeah. Me, my brother. How old are you? I'm 11. I think that one of these people are complaining that you guys not putting the ball in their yard, are you? No. Oh, she started going off on us about how we were little. She was cussing on Yeah, she was cussing Yeah. Let me go talk to her for you. Okay. 
Uh, I've been out with this lady before. Actually, was, I was out here about two months ago. I said people were stealing stuff from her house. But she's a nice lady, so we come out and take care of her when we can. All right, ma'am. What's the deal? Yeah. What's wrong with the kids? What's wrong with the kids? Yeah. They're going to fall over here. You see the rocks over there? They yeah. fell already over here. OK. And I, his head hit the ground and went bang like that. He could have split it open. OK. I don't want to be sued for being hurt here you won't on be my sued. property. It's my property. They're falling on. OK, well, uh, the basketball court is actually on their property, and they it's, have the It's too small there to play basketball. It belongs up the street. Well, actually. That's where it came from. Ma'am, those children that have it now don't live up the street. They live well, here. where's my rights if they got rights? Where's mine? This is my property. I have no rights. You have rights, ma'am. I don't think so. They're not, they they're not entering your property, are they? That they have the rights. I don't. Well, they also told me that, and they're only 10 and 11, that you've been cursing Pardon at them. Pardon me? They said that you've been cursing at them. That is what? Cursing, okay, using foul language. I'm not cursing them. I just tell them, stay away from my property. That's what I tell them. Call them dimwits. Take that and play it up the street. I don't curse at them. OK. Well, here, I know better here, than that. You, you own a certain part of the property, but uh, a part of the property off the road is also owned by the county. That's right. But this part under behind the fence here is mine. Behind the fence, yeah. That's right, and that's where they're running from. And they're falling on the ground, and they're going to fall on the So they, they play basketball, they jump the fence, fall, and then jump back over? No. I'm not against it. Play all the basketball you want, but there's not the place for it. Well, there's not enough room here. It's a small space. OK, well, up the street's not You can not see gonna... that with the naked eye. You don't need it written down in blood to see that's a small space to play okay. with five okay, or six boys. Seven, seven, Tall seven, boys, seven, little seven, boys, seven, boys seven, big boys. Well, personally, I'd rather and have them playing basketball than they're breaking in your house or throwing rocks at your house. Well, that's fine, but not here. There's not enough space here. That's what I'm saying. OK, well, I'm going to ask them to move basketball. it down a little bit. I'm going to ask them to move it down a little bit off the curve. That way, it's away from your rocks. They were over there where that car is? That's yeah. their father's car. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask them to move the basketball right. court over there. Well, All right. How, how old are you? 17. Where do you live at? Uh, in that part of the train on the outside. All right. Can, uh, can you do me a favor, you and the big guy, move that court over to in front of that white car? Her concern is these rocks, no, which... Uh, uh, we used to have it right there, and she told us to move it over here. Could we just move it down in front of the white car? Okay. All right. Try to stay away from her fence. But have fun. I'm all for you guys playing basketball instead of uh, instead of uh, getting in trouble, right? Where's the ball at? Let me get a ball. Who, who wants to go one on one? Come on, chump. Yeah, that's good. All right, who wants one on one? You? Come on. What's up? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, your turn. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Look out. They moved it. They're not going to, they're safe. They're not solving nothing. They're still by my fence. They're in the street, ma'am. I'm here still. It's not going to solve a thing. They bust my fence. Their parents are not going to pay for it. Ma'am, they're not going to bust a fence. What? This is a strong fence. You paid good money for this fence for a reason. This is not going to bust. I mean, they're if little kids. If one of them falls up against it, they will. It'll bend it. Well, I'll tell you what. If they fall and bend it, you call me out, and I'll make sure someone takes care of it. Oh, yeah, like you're doing now. You're not happy with the service you're getting? Yeah, they're doing what they want here. What well, are kids, ma'am? Last team wearing yeah. a South Pole jeans with a red and so white So you're standing patches. up for them. I have no rights. I have no, no say so. I don't I see them doing right anything wrong right now. I'm not saying you don't have any rights, but right now they're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. Doing what normal boys do, play it's basketball. It's going on every night, late at night. People got to get up for work. I don't have to, thank God. But they have to get up for work, too. Not only me, there's new people here. Well, it seems like I've talked. There's people here that are sick. OK. Well, right now, there's nothing they're doing wrong. I've talked to some of neighbors. They don't have a problem with it. You're the only one that has a problem with it, so. That's right. It's my property. Bring it by their house and see if they don't have a problem. OK. Bring that basketball court over there or over there, and you'll see how fast they can play. OK. Do that. All right, guys, just, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You guys aren't doing nothing wrong, all right?
I want a rematch. <laughs> Ready? He <laughs> got pinky. Good job. See you later. What I asked the guys to do is just stay away from the fence. As long as they're not out too late, then there's no problem. The guys we are having go in fun. When it's dark anyways, because you can't see when... You're fine. You're all fine. Okay. okay? All right, guys. See you later. Yeah, I, uh, I'd rather see them out here playing basketball than have me chasing these little kids breaking into houses and cars. Just older ladies here. Seems like it's a nuisance, but I like it here. I got boys, and if they were out playing basketball, I'd be quite happy with that. So she'll just have to deal with the bouncing ball instead of the breaking of the windows. Flat shirt, his hair is parted down the middle and partially white. Uh, we're going to a call of a uh, male armed with a gun in one of our apartment complexes. He stated he was on drugs, wasn't afraid of the police, that he used a gun in an armed robbery of a bank uh, back in March. We got several units going. We're in the area and we're going to stand by, get together, and. That way we got plenty of backup. Six, final owner, 97 also. Okay. It's 465, our friend. Found a music coming from a 1042 across from this residence. The CFS 066. There is a utility right there. Got him. Got him. Uh, you know we're walking in on foot. Hey, hold up a minute, man. There you go. Hands up. Hands up. Get them both up. On the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Don't rush in. Don't rush in. Hands out. Hands out. Cross your feet. Do it now. Yes, sir. Put your face on the ground. Look away. Look away. Look to your left. Sir, what, what are you arresting me for? You're being detained. What are you guys arresting me for? Secured? Gun right. Is that a gun right there, Nance? 1012 uh, secured. Yes, sir, I, I have a gun. I was just going back to my place. Where's your gun? It's, it's in my shoulder holster right here, sir. Shoulder holster. Yeah. All right, continue, continue searching him real quick. Loaded. Yes, sir. One in chamber. Oh, one in chamber? Yep. All right. We have two mags also, empty. Sir, what is this about? Nice. Sir. I was just going back. Well, right now you're carrying a gun. We'll talk to you in just a minute. Right. Left, uh... Pants pocket? Yep. Yes, sir, I, I, have a, I have a marijuana pipe. Yeah, we know that. We just found it. Yes, sir. Scroll back on your face. Now we got two news articles in here about bank robbers that happened in Fort Myers area. <laughs> Reference to Robin and Son Trust Bank and Daniels. What's your day, Bruce? Two news articles about the bank robbers. Yeah, the loaded Glock, uh, shoulder holster, one in the chamber, two empty mags, pipe, a couple flashlights, match the description, carrying a radio. I'll go up and talk to the complaint, and, and uh, we'll come back and figure out what exactly we got. Can you guys get my mustache? Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get all your property in just a minute, man. I'm, I'm sorry you guys for any trouble I caused. Okay. Sit at an angle, all right? Don't sit on your hands. It hurts. Yes, sir. Okay. You guys are called? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Tell me basically what happened. Um, me and him were taking out the trash, and out of nowhere comes this dude, out, like out of the darkness. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? He had a beer He had a beer in his hand. He's like, hey, man, what's up? You guys want to party? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ah, oh, no. You know, I got a kid at the house chilling. I'm just checking the mail. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we sat down, and he's like, oh, man, I'm... I've been doing coke, smoke, I smoked out with all these dudes. And he's like, now nah, I'm just chilling, about to go get another 12 pack. And he's like, you guys want to see my gun? Just like that, I don't even know him. And I was like, are you kidding me? 
So this fool pulls out a gun out of his holster. And he's like, yeah. Where was, where was the holster at? Uh, right here. The shoulder holster? Yes, sir. OK. And he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, it's a 9 millimeter or something. And so I was like, wow. And uh, he's like, yeah, I robbed a bank. Just like that. Dude. He just told you that. Just like that. And, and you know, being geeked up the way he was and, and stoned, I don't think he was lying. Right. He was just, he's so proud of himself. And he said, yeah, they wrote an article on me and everything. He's like, I put a fake tag on my car. And I went in there. I had a ski mask, and I walked in. I had just gotten my gun, and I pointed it at them, and I told them I wanted all the money, and they started to give me ones, and then they started shoving 50s and hundreds in my book bag, and I was like, wow, so how much did you get? He's like, 3,500. And I was like, really? Where do you live? And he's like, I live in building one. I came straight here, and it's all here, and blah, 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 this, that, and the other. All right, and then we'll, we'll just have you hang tight until the detective gets here, and we'll, we'll get right. a quick statement from right. you. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Steven, yes, do you sir. have a concealed weapons permit? No, sir. No? No, sir. OK. You ever been arrested before in the past for anything? Yes, sir. For what? Oh, possession of burglary tools. How long ago was that? That was about five, six years ago, sir. Five or six years ago? How old are you now? 21. 21, so you're a juvenile when that happened? Yes, sir. Okay. I just got the gun today, sir. I, I practiced firing it, Fowler Firearms. The only time I ever took it out was to the, to the pool. And I was under the impression that you know, you could take it. You could take it to your car. You could take it around your, your house and stuff. Okay. You have you been doing any drugs or anything today? Oh. Uh, Be honest now. What would you do? I, I I smoked a little bit, sir. Smoked a bit of what? Marijuana or crack? Uh, marijuana, sir. Marijuana. All right. Right now you're going to jail for carrying concealed firearm. Okay. Possession of marijuana paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia. Yes, sir. All right. And we'll get you down the holding cell here shortly, and we'll come in and see if you want to have a talk. All right? Yes, sir. All right, hang tight. He had this gun. There was a round in the chamber. It's concealed. It was concealed. He doesn't have a concealed weapons permit. We we uh, verified that. So right now, right now he's going to go to jail for uh, the gun and the paraphernalia. Uh, we'll get with the county and uh, turn it over to the detectives, and they can try to link him up to the robbery. We're uh, arriving on a call of a suspicious vehicle, possibly a drunk driver. The citizen was following the vehicle, and uh, the, evidently the driver got nervous and jumped out and bailed from the car after crashing. So uh, we're about to arrive right here right now and uh, see if we can't locate this guy. The guy was following him for quite a ways uh, on the phone with dispatch. Take over here. Basically, uh, the person reporting said that he kept hitting curbs and swiping side to side on the road. And you can see there some damage to the vehicle from where he hit a curb or something. And uh, he actually made contact with the house here. We got the air unit here. We think he's hiding in one of these backyards. Ah. He was last seen jumping over this wall, so we're gonna. Uh, there's a hundred places he could be hiding back here. Any of the yard? Well, if he's got clear. 34, there, go ahead. The left right there. There'll be a yellow car in the driveway and a silver pickup truck parked out in front. It's a uh, trailer that I'm looking at. It's in my life there. That's affirmative. The air unit thinks he might be hiding underneath this trailer here, so let's see if we can't find this guy. Metro Police, show me your hands. How you doing? Patrol 1 George 34, code red. Hey, I see you laying in it. If you do not extend your hands out and crawl out, I'm going to release the dog on you. Patrol 1 George 34, I got one at gunpoint. Met He's not responding to voice commands. The address area unit just gave 53. Hey, sound off or you're going to get the dog released on you. Crawl out. Now or you're going to get tased. Come out, hands. Keep crawling out. Keep crawling out. 
crawling out. Keep coming. Stop right there. Put your hands out to your sides. Cross your feet. Pull your feet up to your butt. Hands behind your back. Palms flat together. Any weapons on you? Any knives? Any needles? Roll over to your side. Come on up. Use yourself. Bounce, use your knee. Bounce yourself. Come up. Come on. Well, we, we weren't even sure. It's 20 minute time lapse. Can you please let my wife pick up my car? My your car is going. No, your car ain't going nowhere. You crash into a house. Come on out here to the patrol car. One George 34, code four, lift the red. I crashed into a car. A house? Yeah, you actually crashed into the house. Can you let her pick up my bank card, please? Where's your bank card at? I have it in my pocket, obviously. How much you had to drink tonight? A lot. A lot? Yeah. Please, let her pick up my bank card, please. Hey, dude, I open up that gate. And I and I duck down. I'm sorry, sorry. I duck down and uh, with the light on my gun, look down. He's all cr crowded under there. Just under the trailer. You ever been arrested before? I have an extensive criminal record. Okay, yeah. Well, just give me the most serious then. The felonies. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. Yeah. Is the most serious thing you've been arrested yeah. for? Any uh, stolen vehicles? Anything like that? No, no. Okay. You have any warrants for your arrest right now? Yes. Okay. Where you got warrants for? For driving on the um, DUI and um, driving without a license. How much have you had to drink tonight? Like about at least an 18 pack. An 18 pack? Yes. Sir. Okay. Wow. DUI. Okay. So did you? How come you ran? Did you run because you have you had warrants, or did you run because you're drunk? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Well, you know you could have hurt somebody. You crashed into the house. You know if. I, how bad did it crash into? Uh, it could have been worse. You actually, you did some damage to the, your car's actually into the garage. It's in the garage? It, well, not in it, but it's, it, you crashed into the garage. You actually made contact with the garage. Yes, so you didn't stop all the way, okay? You drove in a, a complete stranger's driveway. And then you're running in the backyard and the one neighbor almost shot you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the neighbor yells at you, hey, you know, you know shoot him. To, you know, his wife's yelling, shoot him. All right, because he's got some guy running in his backyard. Yes, you know, so uh, it could have been a lot worse. Right now, right now you're being charged with, uh, you know, DUI and, and misdemeanor hit and run. Okay, no, neither one of those are felonies. Did I hit somebody? Sir? Well, the, you hit the you hit the house. Besides, did I hit any hurt people? No, you didn't hit any, you didn't hurt any people, but you hit the house. You could have hurt some people. Is what I'm trying to tell you. And when I shine a light on you, why why aren't you listening to me? Why didn't you respond to my commands? I was falling asleep, officer. You too. were falling asleep? Yeah, I was uh, drunk. Man. Underneath the trailer. Yes, so you're sir. saying so you're saying you didn't hear me? I was falling asleep, officer. Because I almost released the dog on you, and if I'd have released the dog on you, it tore you up. I know, I know. And once the dog goes into that trailer and gets you, I know, you, I know. Officer. All right. Okay. What else you've been arrested for? DUI, you yeah. said. Yeah, I have a warrant. I have, okay. I have a warrant. All right. Any other felonies no. other than the kidnapping? No, okay. Was that with your uh, your wife and and the kid? Is that what the kidnapping yeah. involved? Yeah. Okay. Is no, the, no, 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 no. Not with my wife and kid or nothing. No, no, nothing like that. Something different. No. Yeah. Girlfriend or something? Drug dealer. Draw oh, a drug dealer. You kidnapped a drug dealer? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I gotta honestly tell you, that's the first time I've heard that. I don't know a lot of people have been in jail for kidnapping a drug dealer. But uh, I've thought I've heard it all. All right. Good afternoon. We're uh, we're gonna run a reverse up. We're gonna set up, and as they roll up, flag them down to sell them some dope, tick off some of the buyers. Undercovers will be outside the van. Takedown team will be inside the van. When they hear the takedown signal, takedown units in the van will come out and surround the vehicle. It should still be there on the street. What's your takedown word? Done deal, and the handoff will also be the visual. This should be real simple. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. We start the operation at 3.30. These things do make a difference because uh, we publicize them heavily. We'd like to keep these uh, people coming in buying drugs out of here so at least the kids will be safe and they don't have to deal with this on a daily basis. Heads up. Door, single male driver. Oh, there it is. 
You just asking for some rock? No, I'm gonna do you right. You got it. And there's the exchange. Come on. Come on, I don't want that. Here. Too little, man. Tell you what. Man, that big old fat thing. I, I can give hey. you a big fat thing. I don't want that. Check it out. I got some big one. Yeah, I'll get some else. Fall right here, baby. And there he goes. He had it in his hand, guys. He had it in his hand. He had it in his hand. Stop! Stop like that! Come on, 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 come all right, Chris, you know why we're here, right? I guess, yeah, yeah. You, well, all you, you were doing just, yeah, but I didn't buy anything. I was, you were trying to. I was checking it out, but I was more or less, I wasn't buying anything. Oh, well, I didn't give me no money. Well, you I didn't give tried to hand him a 20, right? No, sir. You didn't try to hand him any money? No, I didn't try to hand him any money at all. I had money in my hand, but I was not going to hand it to him. But you know why we're here, then, right? I know why you're here. OK. We'll be with you in just a second, right. man. He wanted four for 50, so I, uh, I negotiated for him for 50. Okay. But he said they was too small. When I put them in his hand, he said they was too small. Okay. So at the same time, when he gave me the money, he snatched it back. He said, no, I don't want it. These are too small. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. All right. All, right. Uh, all right. We'll get a statement from you in just a bit. OK. On to the next one. Yeah. All right. Can we die? Yeah. Black pickup truck on set. What's up, man? What do you got? What you need? Looks like they're exchanging. Doing the deal now. All right. That's it. Yeah, baby, that's fat. Go, go. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. Turn the car on. Turn the car off. Turn it off. Okay, 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 okay. Slowly. Yeah, out easy. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm when out. I'm you out. You come out, go down. right down to the ground. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. I'm out. No, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, sir. Any narcotics on no, you? No, sir. Nothing gonna hurt us? Pocus, no, sir. Nothing. All right. One, two. Up, slip. Okay, wait, three. Okay, I'm up. He looks like he crushed it. All right, guys. Okay. Come on, sir. Watch it. Huh? What are you gonna do? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, you know why we're here? Yes, sir. Okay, you understand what's going on here? Yes, sir. All right, you know you're going to jail? Yes, sir. For purchasing cocaine, right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have shouldn't, but I just had a bad day, and I don't know what the I'm doing here, man. I'm really sorry. You coming home from work or something? No, sir. No, okay. All right, you throw this down on the ground when they caught you? Hey! I don't, I don't know, sir. Yeah, okay. So this is what he put it in, Bubba? Yeah, put it in the Marlboro pack. Okay. Yeah. I want them to take this in evidence. Good job, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, man. Hey, that's two down, many more to go. Show us the status of Ruth Cooper off. So after dark here uh, makes it a little bit more dangerous for us, but uh, it gets pretty busy out here after dark, so see if we can't pick up a few more buyers. My driver's getting out. Give me a 20 right now. Here you go. Both of them right there. 20? Yep. All right. Okay, I'm by the car, guys. Take down, take down. Get out of here! Dog in the car. Canine in the back seat. Oh, 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 What's your name, man? Joey. What are you doing here, Joey? Being stupid. <laughs> Being stupid? Where are you coming from? San Carlos. You live around here? No, sir. You live down in San Carlos? Yes, sir. OK. What'd you get from We got two? I don't understand two. All right, you understand you're arrested for buying crack, right? Yes, sir. OK. Did your girlfriend do crack, too? I don't know, sir. You don't know? Do you know why you're here? No, I just, I borrowed her car. You borrowed her car. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been, how long have you known her? For a long time. And you don't know if she does crack or not with you? No. Come on. I don't know. You don't know? No. 
All right, okay, get in the car. How long you known uh... For about three years. Okay. Do you know what he was coming up here to do? No, I'm not exactly. I just said, will you go for a ride with me? I said, okay. <laughs> okay, you've known him for three years. You know he do, does crack? Um, he told me he stopped. Uh, so I didn't even know that he was doing it. Okay. I haven't even seen him in a few weeks anyway, so... You it's... haven't? Just came Tonight's out. Tonight's the first night I Just came out to take weeks. a ride and, yeah. and buy some crack. I wasn't buying. <laughs> okay. Wait right there for me. Who's is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She didn't try and do any of the deal with you at all? No. Okay. I even put it right in her face to see if she would she would go with it too, but she didn't. It, okay. She, no, but him. all of it was with him through the all window? All of it was him through the window, yeah. She okay. Would, she wouldn't go with none of it. How much money did he give you? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Great job tonight. Take down, guys. Fantastic job. Everybody's safe. Nobody's hurt. So, really appreciate it. We're going to be back out again tomorrow and see if we can't pick up a few more. We're en route to a domestic call. It's going to be at a local hotel that is known for drugs and prostitution. And the husband's drunk, has been drinking, and apparently is either trying to leave or trying to keep her from leaving right now. So, we'll see when we get there. Uh, see what's going on, see if he's left, or we'll uh, deal with him when we get there. We're looking for a 97 White Tahoe. Oh, there she is. She come running out after him. Yep, there he is. This the husband? This is the husband? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you call us on him? Mm -hmm. Okay. He done gave my keys uh, to somebody. Okay. That dude. That dude Somebody's going to jail. No, your ass going to jail. That dude. Yeah. I said you got your hair for Tina. Hey. Was, whoa. Whoa. You're going to jail. That's all right. I got the money to get out. I got the money to get out. He done took my keys. He okay. some bitch in my go. truck. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay cool. right there. That's cool. You got her? I got her if you want to get your cuffs. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Tina. Tina? Yeah. And who is this guy that you just hit? John, who lives in my house, who was had a in my truck. That's fine. That's fine. He's not your well, husband? No, he's, we've been together for seven years, and my I'm kids are going to I was listen, ma'am. I was I'm on my own. I'm going to do cell phone, phone books. I'm going to tell you what happened this morning, OK? He wasn't home to go to work. I was like, OK, I need my truck. I come over here, I ride up some J-Lo bitch was in the back of my truck, butt naked. My kids are at home by their damn self. Well, he's out here Take it to the car. She's There's yakking. No my, yeah, my kids. They sure are my kids. They are my kids. Here's a witness when she when she just tried to run me over. Okay. They're both saying that you're a witness. I, I did witness it. Okay. The witness, the her hit. She was trying to run him over with that damn car. You see the skid marks right there. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So those are the skid marks. Yeah. Okay. So you were here sitting? I was sitting in the car mm -hmm. trying to put my mirror on. Okay. And she came up, brought this truck back. Okay. And when she came up, she got in, there was a white Cadillac parked there. She gave him the keys to the truck. This truck, the Tahoe? Yeah, this truck here. When okay. She, she gave him the keys to the truck. She got in the cat got in the Cadillac. Okay. And tried to run him over. The Tahoe was parked in he was getting in the Tahoe. So she, he was on the driver's side actually trying to get into right, the Tahoe. Right. And, and she backed hit, up trying to hit him. Hell yeah. Okay. Two times. Not once, twice. So she she Both went times. forward? Backed up and came back at twice. him. Twice. Okay. And that's the skid marks right there. You can see what she did. Okay. Do you mind if we get your name and information? Uh, you can, but I'm leaving here tomorrow. That's fine. Can you do a statement then? If you can just do us a quick statement here, sure. all your information there. Yeah, it's only one I have. Um, she's upset, so just take her. You have to. I mean, with him saying this, so mm -hmm. we're gonna take her. We got the. You may take pictures of the skid marks. Sure. Okay, we'll take okay. pictures of the skid marks there. Are there two skid marks or just that one set of skid marks? Both of those are hers. She the curve. Right. All both Just of the two hers. going straight back, or the other set going into it? All, all of those are hers. Okay. One I'll take pictures of one, one like that. Okay. All of them are hers. Okay. okay. So we're going to get him with the written statement, and then we're going to go talk to her and get her side of the story and pull her out in, in the back, because she's in handcuffs and searched and padded down. Yep. So let's get her out and let's get her side. And he's free to go? Yeah.
I want to take some pictures, Teddy, OK? OK. OK, Tina, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't tell the truth. They're going to keep me. They're not going to give me no bail. You don't tell the truth. That man said I tried to hit you. Tina, come here. Come here, please. Come back here. <laughs> They're trying. I don't know. I know. Any other people. I know. Come over I here. Work for Where do you work I don't at? Know. I work Where do you work? Turn, I'm turn right a, here. Look, I am. Because I don't want them to be doing anything to you. I am not a bad person. Listen. Okay, I don't think you're a bad person, okay? <laughs> look, I don't even go around these people, okay? I don't know these people. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I come over here. My car was acting up. I'm thinking, okay, if he's not going to work, Your I'm car myself. being the Cadillac? Or yeah, which car? The Cadillac. It was okay. smoking all over the place. I'm like, well, since he's not going to work, I'm going to get my truck. I pull up on the side of my truck. Okay, what I did not expect to see him and some girl butt naked in the back of my truck. Okay. 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 I didn't even, you know, you guys see it caught. I didn't lose my composure. I was like, you know what? Just get out of my truck now, please. Because I don't want to have any drama. Just please get out. I need to get to work. So, I mean, I understand I slapped him. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll pay to get out. Mm -hmm. I did not try to hit him. Okay. Why, why are they telling us that you tried to because hit him? Because some people over there don't even know me. He probably told him to tell you guys that because I hit him. And if he tell you the truth, if he knows they're going to keep me, he'll tell you the truth. They're trying okay. not to let Talk me to out, me. Sean. Is this the Cadillac? They're trying Tina? to get me for some crazy they're not going to let me out. They're going to keep Tina, me. Tina, Tina, listen to me. Focus. How are we going to determine? Sean, can you please call We're him not, over Sean here? Sean doesn't want to cooperate. But Sean, please cooperate. They're going to keep me. You don't understand. They're trying to put some more charges on me. I'll take this early conduct, but I did not try to run you over. They're going to keep me. I, I already know. Well, then tell them the truth because these people are I telling mean. them. What'd you tell them? They're saying you didn't cooperate. I smacked you, yes. Give me just early conduct, but I, they're going to try to get some other on me that I ain't did. They're going to keep me. Tell him the truth. Will you tell him the truth, please? I'm trying to say that never happened. Tell her, please. What never because happened? The truth. Yeah. We got a total stranger. Out. I would never hurt him. My God, we've been together for seven years. Okay, but you were very emotionally upset. How yeah. am I going to explain the fact that I've got a total stranger that's seeing you hit him with the car? He or tried to hit tell him. you the truth. Sean knows. Okay. Sean's going to keep me. Will you tell him the truth? This man is over telling them they're going to keep me for more charges. Will you tell them? I would never try to hit them. Okay, somebody. Tina. <laughs> they're going to keep me safe, Sean. God. Sean's not saying anything different, right? He's saying it didn't happen. This is the Cadillac that she used earlier, apparently, to uh, attempt to run him over, according to the witness. And the husband or boyfriend, whatever, was being uncooperative, which if he wouldn't have, he didn't want to cooperate, we wouldn't have prosecuted, but because of witness, now she can go to jail. We're taking her to jail for the aggravated assault. She almost tried to run him over with the car, plus she hit him in front of the police, so, you know, she's got to go to jail tonight. Getting a little bit more of the story now, the PR saying that a 408 male came into the bedroom with a knife looking for her nice wife. Right now, officers are en route on a, uh, a call of a male that had a knife, broke the the person reporting's uh, window and uh, is armed right now with a uh, with some sort of knife. 72. Police department. What happened? This is Jeb. I don't know his last name. Okay. He's here for his girlfriend to meet. Did you see him hit her or anything? No, or she, she wasn't here when he got here. He just busted in. Do you need any medical no, attention? You're all right. I'm fine. Okay, I just, what did he do to you? I got me by the handle me pretty, pretty rough and put Grabbed a knife to my hair, neck. Grabbed you by the hair and put a knife to your neck. And he said, if you think I'm joking, I'll take one stab to okay. show you that I'm not joking. And, and, you know, and then he pulled me by the hair and parted me to the back door. All right, will you write a statement? Yes, sir. All you know is his name is Jeff. That's it, that's it. Yes, so what's going on here today? I have no idea. Okay, who's Jeff? Jeff is my wife's, the guy that she lives with. Okay, where do they live at? Uh, some apartments up there up in Sierra and Sierra Vista and... Okay, so Jeff's going out with your wife? Yeah, Okay. Separate. If she came down here. Why are you with your wife now, then? If Because they're finding that she came down here to get away from him. OK. Because you can see what kind of an idiot he is. Right. Where's he at right now? I have no idea. You have no idea? What kind of car does he drive? It's a blue four-door lamina. Is this your wife, Denise? Yeah, that's her. Going to a disco night or something? No, actually, <laughs> this, was, this was a bluff to try to get him to calm down and settle down. I came straight over here. You bluffed them in some leather pants? Well, they're not fake leather. Hush up, baby. <laughs> you know. If you were a gambling person, where would you say you went? 
home. Home? Yeah, you think so? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't. I really don't. What know. number does he stay in? Does my partner have all that? Yes, sir. What number does he stay in? Three thirty A. Three thirty A. A. Three three zero. Okay. Building A. Okay. We'll call you and let you know everything that happened and what he's going to be arrested for and everything else. We're on our way over to an apartment complex where uh, Denise told us where he'd be staying at. She said there's one of three places and this would be the one. She knows for 100% that this is where he lives and uh, believes that he's going to be going back there. Let's see if we can see his car in the parking lot before we go walk up on him. Old Lumina with the temporary. 3 John 34, go ahead and come up here. He's pulling up now. Control 3 John 1, we'll be out on our uh, suspect vehicle. Oh, I'll talk to you like you said, Red. Uh, hold off for two seconds. Okay. Show me your hands, driver! John 1, go ahead and give us a red. Step out of the vehicle and face away from my voice. Step away. Turn around. Turn around. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Stop. Go down to your knees. Keep your hands out. Go all the way down to your face. Is your name Jeff? Go down to your belly. Is your name Jeff? Hello? Can I ask what Is your name Jeff? Yes, sir. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to the side. Put the cigarette out. Put your hands out to your side, palms up. Cross your ankles. Do you have any guns or knives on you I need to know about? No, sir. Is there any knives inside of that car I need to know about? I think I have a pocket knife. Uh, probably on the floorboard, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Stay right there and don't move. Turn your head to the right. Uh, Other occupant in the car, come on out. Show me your hands. Come out the driver's door. Keep your hands up. Go ahead and step back here. Scoot over. Go down to your knees. Stop right there. Go down to your knees. Go ahead, no, you don't need to go all the way down. Put your, interlace your hands on top of your head. Put down whatever you got. Don't move. Anything on you I need to know about? No, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I'll explain everything. This has nothing to do with you right now, okay? But seeing how you're with this wonderful guy, Jeff, you're gonna be taken into custody for right now, okay? Is there anything in that car I need to know about? No, I'm not that. No, I don't. stand on up. Oh. Ready? Like I said, I don't know what's going on. Go and come on over here real quick. Go and have a seat right there on the curb. There's a knife actually in plain view that's a fold up knife that looks kind of like the description that she gave us. Also got a burglary tool which is a dent puller right there. Um, this is actually confirmed the same subject that was involved with us earlier. Um, same description of car, same everything. Um, when we started to give him commands, this is when he started to ditch the knife in the, in the floorboard right there. She's on her way over to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So the girl that you grabbed her hair today is on her way over here. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're under arrest for kidnapping, burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah, she was positive. Right? Vicky didn't want to have too much to do with you, no offense, but she was just ready to be the, get the heck out of here, okay? She had nothing to do with anything. I know that. How did you break the window? No, all I did was push it. I just I pushed it, it broke though, it. right? Yeah, it broke. Okay. It, it did okay. break. It, it, all I did and was push it. And then what happened? You climbed in over? Yeah. You grabbed Donna, right? I didn't grab her. I just... Pushed her? I wouldn't say pushed her. I... Just tell me what you did. I already know. No, she no, already no, told no. me. I went. I got in the room, okay? She was opening up the door. I came in, and she was like, what's wrong? And I said... I want to know where David and Denise are right, right. now. No. Right. So you said I wanted you put your arm around her because you didn't think she was telling the truth, right? So you put your arm around her to tell her no. I want to know where they are now. No. Why did you want to find Denise so bad? I just wanted my keys back to my apartment. I wanted the keys back to my car, and 
That's it. You're under arrest for kidnapping, burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, we're heading to an unknown trouble call. Uh, it's a call that's, uh, the desk is categorized as unknown trouble. Step up from a 911 hangout. Uh, we've got a deputy who just went on scene. He's got uh, two subjects outside and they're, uh, they have the station held for him, which means no other traffic on that station. And we'll be there shortly. Right, we have a uh, male suspect. Um, I know he's on him, he's kind of leaning out. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat in the car, and then when we're done with this, we'll get something for you, okay? Oh, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. You don't want to listen? We'll do it another way. Go have a seat, please. Now go ahead and roll fire. This subject acts kind of weird. Therefore, I'm going to invite. Let me around. you have any ID on you? You have any ID on your, on your person? In the house, sir. It's in the house? Where in the house? Where in the house? I'm not completely sure, sir. What have you had today? What, have you taken any drugs or anything? I have had nothing, sir. Step out of the car for me. Come on. Come out here. Put your feet out here. Swing your feet sir, out here. Step out. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Put your feet out here. Stand up. I'm going to help you up. You going to stand up? Yes, I will. Okay, come you on. want me to, if I that is your order? Stand up. Come on. Get out here. Come on. You don't have any ID in your back pocket? You might have to pick your seven on you. I yeah, have I didn't nothing. feel any. I just pat him down the first time. I have nothing. What, uh, what have you been taking tonight? Nothing, sir. How come you're all going, you're all sweaty, you're going crazy, you're shaking? What's wrong? I'm just searching for the Lord. You're searching for the Lord? Oh, man. What did you take? Hey, yeah, what did you take? Nothing. We need to know okay, he's so amped. Look out. at his pupils. All tensed up. How much did you take? We're trying to help you. You want to die right here? How much did you take? Are you smoking glass? No, sir. Are you slamming? No, sir. You're not slamming? No, sir. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You're slamming, aren't you? No, sir. I'm just holding oh, straight right. still. Yeah. That is. Where's... Did you shoot up? He's I'm been slamming. Sir. Yeah, he shot up with some. No, sir. Hey, you got a mark on your arm where the needle was in. Hold her up a second. Come here, man. What's your name? What's your name? Hi, I'm Deputy Jones. How you doing? Hi, good. Thank you wanna you wanna tell me what was going on with him? Um, I met him on a week ago Friday mm -hmm. at Roman's Oasis. Um, we we talked all week. You know, I was assuming he was going to work every day, and then today he um, he pulled out a bag, and I'm it's meth, and I did, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's meth. Yeah. I did some of it, but not a whole lot, and he didn't do. But you know, I don't know what he did before. And, that when he started, and about, like, yeah, and about, I would say not even an hour, he just snapped. I mean, this look in his eye was, I thought he was going to hurt me. So yeah. I got, you know, I left. He came with me because people were after him. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's scary. Yeah. Well, you and then he starts hey, talking ben, about the Book of Mormon and stuff, and I'm like, I got to go. A lot of times they have a religious experience. He's is on that the point. Is? That's his, his high right now is extreme. It just doesn't seem like he had a whole lot, you know? Just that one time, and yeah, he I'm might have so been sneaking stupid. back and doing more. And I suspect he did maybe go to the bathroom. He does did, go to the bathroom. Now. He did go to the bathroom. That's probably where we're going to find a syringe because I think he slammed something. Oh my! I have two jobs. I'm, a, you know. You know those jobs go away once you start doing glass. Yeah, no, I won't start. Kids I'm, go away no. once you start doing glass no, too. I won't. That's what I've, we uh, do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. and that's why you won't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you won't need to see me anymore. Trust okay. me. Okay. Because right. I Glad won't okay. be around that. Me too. Thank you guys very much for showing you up. You know. <laughs> Thank you for being here. What have you been back. taking tonight? You got to help me out there, partner. I have taken nothing, sir. When I pulled up to the house, there, he's standing up by that uh, kneeling there, next yeah. to the driver's side door of this truck here. He was kneeling? Yeah, holding this Bible in between his hands. 
Well, he's definitely high. Steve, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand you up and sit you down on this gurney here so they can take you to the hospital, OK? Sir. I'm going to take your handcuffs off of you. No, sir. Please leave them on, sir. Uh, I need to take them off so you can sit down on that gurney right there. They're going to go ahead and strap you down, though, OK? So you're not going to go anywhere, OK? Is he under arrest? Stand up, Steve. Stand up. Put your feet underneath you. Put your feet underneath you. I'm not going to hold you up. Put your feet underneath you. I'll stand. OK, there you go. Select like man. Yes, sir. Lord. Hey. My knees are. Jesus is my savior. Hey, Steve. Hey, hey, do me a favor. Sit down on this gurney right here. Fall down, Steve. Come on. Walk on over here. There we go, Bob. Put your back right up against the back here. Swing your feet up there. That's OK. You don't have to say anything. Put your feet on up here. Let them take care of you. Well, here you see the results of methamphetamine uh, use and abuse. A uh, gentleman is now finally admitted to uh, slamming methamphetamine, which is intravenously use of meth methamphetamine. Uh, he was snorting it, and he's completely out of hand. So what we're doing is we're sending him off with uh, fire to be checked out at the hospital so his heart doesn't explode. Sam Charlie, 25. We uh, got a call, and we're headed up to an area up here at Lone Mountain in Riley. Um, the citizen or somebody's reported that there's a skull, that they found a skull. And that's really all that we know at this point. It's believed to be a human skull. Looks like it might be up here on the left. See if there's any other, any other bones along with it and uh, see what it can tell us. Trill H3836 and 4209 arrived. Said her dog was trying to play with it yesterday. Uh, she's gone, but I got her, her voluntary. She had to go. Um, said the dog was trying to play with it yesterday. She didn't know what it was, obviously. And then uh, this morning, the dog kind of got away from her and started rubbing on, on the thing, and she took a closer look and found out what it was. I think we're going to find the, the remains inside the. I think you're right. Inside the little collar. Well, from what uh, the. The county uh, parks guy said that they were here two, two three weeks after the, the Ray, major he's flood doing last thing. week, yeah. or last year, fixing the landscaping, and they got flies uh, and a bad smell coming out of that pipe, so. And he just assumed it was maybe a dead animal or something. Right, well, it was probably a dead person. It may have been just somebody sleeping in there. I mean, it's possible. It's a real small space. We'll see. Yeah. We noticed the, these things here. There's some ribs. Looks like what's ribs oh, yeah. poking out right there. And then that looks like some sort of a piece of clothing. It's green, long sleeve. Long sleeve. Looks like a sweatshirt. An extra long like a flannel or something? It's not buttoned up? It's oh, a no, champion. It's... OK. Yeah, no, it's, it's a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. OK, this is number one. Somebody grab that and take it to the uh, screen here. Each item of evidence is being taken by bucket over to the uh, screens and then washed clean. Found a cell phone in the cell phone in the shirt. Excellent. In the pocket. Excellent. You fire it up then, Cliff. Oh, yeah. yeah. There ain't gonna be no fire into this. Look how rusted it is. Okay. All right. Can you believe that? Is that S U G. There was a sweatshirt that was found in there, and the sweatshirt had a, a pocket in the front. We found this uh, cell phone in the pocket of a sweatshirt, so we're recording the numbers off of it so that we could track it down and maybe find out who it belonged to later on. She's just examining the remains that we've recovered so far, and she, with her background, she's able to, to make some determinations as far as sex. Yeah, it's a male Caucasian. She was able to determine that the the crack on the one side of the, the left side of the skull that one of the detectives had noticed is actually natural and it's not any sign of trauma. So it doesn't look like we have any trauma at this time. And we get a hold of their customer service and obviously it's an unusual request. So 
they, uh, she's tracking down another number that we can get a hold of, doubtless uh, somebody with their um, security department. Yeah, it's very possible. So you ha you have annotated in your records there that this phone was reported missing, and as well as the person. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. We uh, you got an ID on this guy. Yeah, we do. Cool. Is he a missing person? Yes, he is. He was. Uh, they have an annotation in there in March, but it seems he says it looks like the records go back further than that, and they have uh, in their records that the phone was reported missing as well as the person. Hey, Dino. Sir, got some stuck. info for you. Okay. Uh, he was uh, reported missing. Dad reported him missing. How old is he? And what happened was, in the details uh, of the call, and you can pull it up, but just uh, Dad found the car abandoned at the Wrangell and Lone Mountain right over here. Okay. Well, and then Craig ends up being familiar with this victim here. Had multiple, multiple calls at, uh, at the house, and okay. seemed like there was a little... Schizo type calls. Neighbors afraid of them, digging in the front yard. Oh, really? Uh, talking to people that aren't there type thing. Hey, Flo, you trying to get a hold of Trying to find people that are in the tunnel underneath the house. Okay, we had the cadaver dogs come out and they did their search and we recovered quite a few more bones. Now we've got public works out here. They're in here with the big power hose and they're gonna wash that out. Hopefully we can get some of that debris to come out and we can search through it after uh, it gets cleaned out of that uh, drainage pipe. Okay, that's exactly what we were hoping would happen right there. We're starting to get some more of these uh, pieces of bones that are washing out with that pressure wash, so it's working exactly like we'd hoped. Oh, there we go. Clothing with bones. We have his uncle who's who's here. If you come around with me, I'll show you the, the sweatshirt. Fairly well preserved cell phone. Cell phone's where we got the electronic serial numbers. That was actually still entrapped in the uh, the front pocket for the double pants. Anybody? No idea. If he crawled in there and he got stuck and couldn't get out, he's not gonna get his hands down to his waist. It's just not gonna happen. There's no indication, at least at this point, from what we see on the skeleton. We have forensic anthropologists that's standing at the mouth of the uh, pipe. In addition to the crime scene analysts, have gone over each bone meticulously at this point. And uh, I would venture to guess that it'll end up being undetermined cause of death. Uh, we don't have a lot to say that this is uh, that there's foul play involved here. We have um, from officers that have been that have responded to this, who we believe to be this individual's residence in the past, and uh, there was a, uh, a pattern of, of um, drug abuse and some, some mental health issues, specifically related to, there was a, a contact that the police made in which he was found um, digging with a pickaxe in his uh, front yard in, a, in an actual physical attempt to get to these tunnels he believed that were, that were uh, being uh, excavated underneath this house. And uh, at this point in time, we're gonna continue on with our investigation and follow up all possible leads to, to determine whether or not this is a, a tragic accident or an actual homicide. The great thing about Santa Ana is located in the county of Orange, which is a real nice county. Located around 10 to 20 minutes from the ocean, so you can go to the beach. In the summertime, it's great. Uh, about an hour away from the mountains, so uh, in the wintertime, we go skiing. In the summertime, we can go uh, jet skiing. It's great. It's great. It's a great job. Opportunity to help people, opportunity to, to make uh, an improvement in your neighborhoods or in our neighborhoods. We're going to Townsend Street, the uh, Townsend gang area. Go ahead, Tony. Uh, got another unit on the street side. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some gang members run, run our way, see what happens. Okay, we're northbound now. Clear at eight. Continuing northbound. Eight. What is that? Okay, clear out eight. Oh, we got a deal going down. How you doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey. 
You out here dealing drugs again, buddy? No, the only reason why you're here, you know me and I know you, right? Right? We know each other, right? We manage each other. That's right. See, and I know that you're dealing drugs, right? So what other reason could you have to be in here? You're, you're seeing who? A girl, sir. A girl? Who? Her? Oh, oh come on. You know, I, that's not my taste, sir. No, it's not your taste? No. What's your taste? I have to do respect, sir. Young girl. You got the cash. I know you're not working. I know you're not employed, and you got the money. I got a family. You got work. a family to support? I work. I'm going to put these handcuffs on you, OK? Put your hands behind your back for me. You're not under arrest, but I think you might have threw some drugs right there on the ground. I'm going to make sure you got enough. Okay, hey, I'm gonna make sure you got any guns or drugs on you, okay? Okay, okay you step out of the car for me. Right Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Walk back towards me. Spread your feet out. Where do you live at, buddy? In Laguna Hill. Spread your feet out a little bit more. More. There you go, thank you. Laguna Hills? Yeah. Are you lost? No. What are you doing over here? That's my friend right there. The girl? The girl. Uh -huh. What's her name? Well, I had just met her. So she's not really a friend then? Well, I picked her up. Where'd you pick her up at? Up there on first. First Street? Mm -hmm. Out there by the hotels? No. Hey, do me first. Sit down. Right here. Cross your feet like that guy. You understand? Yes. Do you, do you have a drug, a drug problem? No. You're not here to buy drugs? No. Are you she sure? She asked me to give her a ride. She said she had a friend that needed a ride. Do you so. use drugs? No. At all? Nope. The only thing I do is drink every once in a while. And that's it. Is, are those your real eyebrows? Yeah. They're, are they not painted or tattooed or anything like that? Well, I use, like, um, I dye them sometimes. Uh -huh. Sometimes I use eyebrow pencil. Okay, are there any guns or drugs in your car? No, sir, not at We're all. just going to verify that. Is yeah. that all right with you? Go ahead. Are you sure these guys, no one threw drugs inside your car or anything like that? I don't have any drugs in my okay. car at all. You don't know if uh, she's on parole, probation? I have no idea. This is cocaine drugs. base. There was one piece here and another piece right here. The uh, kid on the other side threw it down on the ground. He was obviously making a drug deal with this guy. And coincidentally, the females got the uh, drug paraphernalia. Came with him, so that's not too hard to figure out what they're doing. The good thing is, we know you guys came down here to buy drugs. It's not a big deal, you understand? The good thing about this situation is that you don't have any drugs on you. There's no drugs in your car, and there's no drug paraphernalia in or around that car. You understand? Yes, sir. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly? You seem like a nice person, Kelly. And all I'm asking is for your honesty, OK? Tell me about the conversation you had with these two gentlemen. So he's just pulled up right now. Huh? He just pulled up, and he asked if he could get a ride, and I asked if he wanted in the front of the back. Who? The guy, I didn't talk so about anything else yet. You pulled right up. We, we got here too early, huh? Right? OK. Well, thank you for your honesty. You can't be coming down to our alleys and to buy drugs. You understand that? You promise? Sorry, I promise. Huh? I promise. Just sit right there. On the other side. Look what I found in his uh, pocket. Oh, that's in your pocket? More it's rocks? Large, right? The containers belongs to me, oh, sir. Okay. Yeah, he well, says. Well, that's uh, a lot of rock. I don't he know says. Rock uh, uh, All right. He says he's out here watching. It's, uh, it's also got a we'll, we'll put him in the car and have uh, Tony take them in. You want to put him in the car? So you're going to be honest with me? Yes. You promise? Yes. OK. I'm going to ask you simple questions. Just be honest with me, OK? I want to know, uh, we've been watching you for a while. How many drug deals did you do today? Only like two or three? Yes. How much money have you made today for, for selling drugs? Well, I'm not going to be here to look out for the cops. OK, so you're the lookout for the cops? Yes. OK, that's fair. OK, well, thank you for your honesty. OK? I appreciate it. But sit tight, I'll be right back. So consider both of yourself very lucky. As soon as we're done conducting our investigation, you will leave and you will not come back to any high narcotic area in our city. You understand me? Yes, sir. Your names will be documented on this report. What happened to your eyebrows? You never finished telling me that story. I know, they're old. Well, your hair is like, Blonde and your eyebrows are black and they look like they're tattooed and uh, are they painted or tattooed on? It's, it's um, eyebrow pencil. Pencil? Yeah. At first, if you have your eyes closed, they kind of look like eyes. 
You know what I'm saying? Worms. <laughs> yeah, like worms. All right. Well, both you drug users will not hang out in our city anymore, right? No, sir. And you're going to say no to drugs? Yes, say, uh, raise your right hand and say we will not use drugs anymore. I will not use drugs anymore. All right. There is an energy and a vibe in Las Vegas that is unlike any other city in the entire world. From graveyard to day shift to swing shift, it's constant motion, constant action, and constant money. People chasing it. And it's just, you see the, the deepest, the darkest, the evilest, the sexiest, the wildest, the craziest. Everything is Vegas. Everything with an EST on the end is in Las Vegas. We got a domestic call where a female called saying her ex-boyfriend was banging on the front door. Uh, he kicked the door in, and then the line went dead. Empty control. Go ahead. What happened? Um, I told him to get out of my house so that I didn't want him in my home anymore. Which he, is your apartment? Uh, 305, the one where the doors open. Okay. And I wanted him to leave, and he just kept insisting, knocking on my door, trying to get in. And I just wanted him out of my house. I wanted him to get away, away from me. And That's what, I want. what is he to you? He's my ex-boyfriend. Is that his motorcycle? No. So how did he get inside? He tried getting in through the window. And did he make it in? He tried to, but no. He Who just, do you he live with? Myself. So did he hit you? No, he hasn't. No, but I had a previous restraining order, but it expired on. So I just wanted him to leave and just never oh. come back. So why is he coming over here? Wanting to be with me, and I don't want. I don't want to be with him. Has he been trespassed off this property? Uh, no. I, this is like the second time he comes over here, but he's really not been trespassing at all. Okay. I just wanted him to leave the house, leave my where I'm at, so he could just go away. So he didn't hit you? No, he didn't. And he didn't actually make it inside. No. Okay. I just want to All right, just wait over here for a second. It's cool. Right, I don't want to be with her no more. Well, how you. come? What happened? Because she, she made it come to this point. I don't want her no more. What point did it come to? The point that she had to prove all y'all all out here in front of everybody how much after all we've been through that she can just on me. How did you cry? How, how did you get inside? And I went through the window, man, because I knew it was open. She left it open for me. She continues one minute she wants to be with me, the next minute she don't want to be with me. When was the last time you were with her? Man, we was, we been together. We together right now. But now it's over, man, because I got to move on. We need time apart. Exactly. Maybe we need time apart, maybe man. That's what you... Maybe we'll be together now, but it probably won't happen because I can't do it. What is, she what's your... love me all the time unconditionally. I what's your name? Go. Michael. Where were you raised? I was raised in Las Vegas. What do you do? Man, I don't do much to nothing, man. Right now, I collect unemployment checks. And you love her? I love that girl with all my heart, man. She was first love, my first love, my first loss. But do you understand you can't be climbing in the window? I understand man. that I can't make that girl love me if she don't want to be with me. That's well, what, oh my God. Well, that's a mature decision, and I love respect that, but you can't climb in the window. That's why everybody freaked out. True. You know, when everyone, the neighbors and everyone saw it, because it wasn't necessarily just her. There were other people saw you climbing the window that, you it's know, embarrassing, and that's why. It's... She never said anything bad about you, in all know, honesty. She, she just said it right now. She just don't want to be with me no more. She, I, maybe, like I don't know, man, just because I, you have to ask her why she don't want to be with me. No, nah, it's just I don't want him to be around anymore because back in the day, he was a very abusive person, and I really just don't want to be with him, period. Because I have a six-year-old son that does not need to see that. It just hurts because I love her, man. Look at that. You're not gonna hurt yourself, are you? Man, I, sometimes I feel like it, man, but I'm not stupid enough to go there. You, do you want to do it? You want to hurt yourself tonight? Well, sometimes I want to crash, man, because sometimes the pain just gets too much, man. I need counseling, y'all. I need some reaching. I mean, we'll give you that, some information. I need some help, man. I need a place to stay. I need a, okay, a, a, an understanding of how a goal that I would need to accomplish. I need to understand a map line, how I'm going to reach that goal. I need some help on my nights that I get lonely, that I'll come over here acting a fool. I need a lot of going on in my life, you know what I mean? I, and I really, I'm reaching out to y'all, man. If y'all can help me, you know what I mean? Come help me out, cuz. All right, when we get ready to go after he runs, you come over to my car and I'll give you some information on ways to go, okay? Uh, we're coming, me and my son are gonna go to sleep. Okay, okay. so you don't want him uh, to, to uh, come over tonight? No, or ever again, I just don't want him around. 
here. Oh, the last one. It's, listen, you know how many breakups I've been through, man? Yeah, but this is my first, man. All right, well, this is my last, and I don't know how okay. quite how to deal with it. Come on, relax. <laughs> It'll be okay. And just, just that, I appreciate that, man, because I don't know what I want to do. Don't worry about it. I told you, we're here to help you. <laughs> Are you broke? I'm not broke. I got my appointment check today, you know what I mean? And I just have to go get my hair right on him, a smart kid. And I just couldn't get over the fact that I loved her and that she didn't love me. She did, and that's exactly what happened. Two years, she sent me mixed signals. And I wanted to believe the one I wanted to believe in. I tried to ignore everything else. Some women are notorious for doing that. Man, and that's all she did to me, man. I'm going to give you some numbers, OK? I'm gonna write down a friend of mine who is actually the head of the um, uh, Clark County Community Services. I mean, she's the boss. I want you to call her and I want you to spill your heart out to her and tell exactly where you stand. She might even be able to lead you to getting a job. Okay. Officer Curtis is my name. She will definitely lead you in the right path. But if you're as honest with her as you are with me about the things that are going on in your life, I mean, she can definitely help you out. I mean, as far as work, as far as counseling, as far as everything is, you don't know how good you got it right now, man. Half the people that I run into don't have half of what you got. And the most important thing you got is that you're honest with yourself about how you feel. So I'm leaving right now. Please call her tomorrow. All right? Make the right choice, man. Take care. That's really sad when you think about the fact this kid has his entire life in front of him and he's so wrapped up in one girl that he's ready to climb through a window and do that kind of stuff. I grew up in Chicago, and I uh, was a police officer in Illinois for a few years. Came out here to Vegas, been out here for the past few years. It's always funny calling back home to my police buddies, exchanging stories about some of the wild things that, that happen out here in this city. Okay, I just received dispatch uh, to a call where uh, an individual is inside the store, actually inside a fast food restaurant, behaving erratically, yelling at customers, yelling at the manager trying to start fights with people. So we're really not far from that call right now. Please be advised that we got another call referencing your subject. He's possibly naked uh, and running around the business, possibly on 446. On 43 copy, and I'm about 30 seconds out. OK, we just received an update from dispatch that this guy is naked now inside the fast food restaurant and uh, pushing customers around. So. We are arriving on this call right now. It's supposed to be right inside this fast food place. Like right. Where is this guy? Where is he? Where is he? Put your smoke out. What? Drop your smoke. Drop your smoke. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground now. Peace for mankind. Peace for mankind. ACLU. 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 Ah, yeah, everybody's on. Troll, turn 43. Can you give me no Okay, okay. On my shoulder. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Put your hand behind your back. Stop resisting. Okay. I won't resist. Please. Please stop. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. I can't. My shoulder. Oh, it's been tore up. Who's got Control 3 and 43. Code 4 got one in custody here. You can lift any red. You give me some volunteers from all these people that saw him acting completely crazy. I almost tased him. Figured I'd just go hands on him with it real quick, so took him to the ground. Okay, let's let's sit him up. Let's sit him up. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay? We're gonna get you up right now. All right? We're gonna get you up. You're acting completely out of control. He took I his clothes off. I haven't taken a shower in three days. OK, get, him, get this on. Get this on. Stand up. Here we go. 
Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to fill out a statement for me if you wouldn't mind here in a minute. Yeah, I'll press charges and nobody else will. Thanks, we need it. We're gonna need a statement for sure. Peace Walker! Oh, outstanding. Peace Walker! Okay, Michael. Peace for Mankind! Sir, Peace so what exactly happened here earlier? I mean, I saw him acting very bizarre. What, what, what did he do to you? Well, I come in to get something to eat, and he started threatening me, got in my face, started putting his finger in my face, and then he started, and he, then he had the nerve to call me George Bush, and that's when I really thought it was, that was too far. Okay, and then what would he do? So he did he did that, and then he did he, did he try to throw a punch at you? What did, he, what did he do? He came close. I mean, his finger was right in my face. He, he, I thought he was going to touch me. I, if okay. he'd have touched me, I don't know what I'd have done. Because I was looking at the I was looking at the child seats, and I know they're heavy wood, and, and I could swing one pretty good. Uh -huh. Then he threw a soda, and it hit this lady here and him. And I don't know what he had been doing to the other people. When I walked in, he was already ranting. And, but he, was he trying to throw the soda at you, and it actually I, yeah, hit her? Yeah. OK. It won't take long. If you just stand up in the front of my car, I'll get you the paperwork to fill out and the pens and everything like that, and then I'll have you on your way shortly, no okay? Problem. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I pulled the taser out. It says get down on the ground. He's got his shirt off, and he takes this weird attack posture stance towards me. I tell him to put his cigarette out because he's smoking inside the business, and he flicks it at me. And that's why, that way I just holstered up the taser and thought, instead of tasing him in front of all these people here in a, in a restaurant, I just go hands on with him, so I just quick spun him around, leg trip, down to the ground, got his hands, put him in handcuffs. That was it. So, anyhow. Did you want to say something to me, sir? Well, I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart, officer. I acted uh, really out of character. I'm exhausted from my peace walk across the country. I came home to Las Vegas, and I came to home to a bad reception by my family and I thought it would be a happy occasion but my ex-wife had me tre trespass because I was waiting for my son Steve yes to come home from work I understand you've got some personal issues that you're dealing with and that's probably what you know what inspired your behavior inside there I'm awful, son. however I, I, I appreciate that you made me, listen to me listen to me you you made you made me do what I had to do in there you really gave me no choice. And I appreciate what you're saying right now. Hey, you made a pretty good move there. It hurt, really. Well, I wasn't trying to hurt you, sir. I was just trying to take you down into custody I know, and, you're a lot smaller than you. and, get, and get you under control. I may be a little smaller, but I've got some skills. You okay. do have skills. OK. Yes. All right. Well, you're going to be going to jail. You're going to be going to jail uh, on the assault well, on myself. OK. Secondly, what precipitated all that was when you went inside and started in with the, with the man initially and challenged him and went off and threw a drink at him and challenged him to a fight and put your finger in his face and all that other stuff, okay? And then it the drink that you threw wound up hitting a lady who wasn't even involved in anything. I didn't know that. And that completely you know, ruined her night. So those are the things that are on your plate right now. You're going to get yourself a shower. You're going to get cleaned up. You're going to get a meal. And you're going to be able to get your thoughts together, okay? Okay, All right, you got to think about dealing dealing with things and your stresses in your life in a little more positive way. That okay. way, you're not going to have contact with us anymore. You understand? Okay. And right now, we're going to attempt to do a traffic stop on this vehicle. It's got a uh, equipment violation on the cracked tail light. Um, we had a previous call reference or robbery with the same type of vehicle. I'm not sure if it's going to be or not. Hey, Alpha Four Nine. I like to be on the tan Mercury marquee. How you doing? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Not too bad. You got your license registration insurance? Sure. The reason why I stopped in today, you got a cracked tail light. Oh, I do? Whose vehicle is this? Uh, excuse me? Whose vehicle? Whose vehicle? This one? Yeah. I have no idea. It's my niece's car. What's your niece's name? I think it's uh, Edna. That's your niece? Yeah. You think that's her name? No, that's her name. Oh, See, okay. I think the car's under her name. Oh, okay. Edna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got your driver's yeah. license? How about your passengers? They got ID on them? Uh, no, not mine. 
Do I have yours? No? She's the one that owns the car back there. That's Edna there? Yeah. You got your ID with you? Oh, yeah, she's got it right here. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> where are y'all headed today? Right now, I just came from a friend's house. We were watching a baseball game, and I'm just at home. Okay, y'all live together? No, she lives, uh, she lives down the street from us on Barbara. Hi, this is your car? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and are, you're related to him? No. You're not related to him? No, he's my uncle. So you are related yeah. to him? Yes. Okay, you just said no. <laughs> okay. So yes, you are yeah. related. We're related. Okay. Why did you say no the first time I asked you? I didn't understand what you had told me. Oh, okay. Asked. That's actually my wife. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's actually my wife. Okay. So we're gonna be honest. I'm not gonna beat around the bush and lie. You know, because I got nervous. So that's why. Yes, you're related. No, right, you're related. Right. Yeah. You're my uncle. No, you're not. Right. So actually. She's my wife. Okay. But not legally married, but we live so together. So you two have been together. Do you have a you have a child in common? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the child you're talking yeah, yeah. about. They're pretty much husband and wife. They have a child in common. It's not his niece. Yeah, because I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. He was nervous. Church, can you step out of the vehicle for a second? Okay. For some reason, I can't locate any identification card um, for you. Why is that? Um, that's why I'm asking you. I don't know why. I'm just why. It's my name. I'm data clerk. Okay. I give you my address. Okay. But like I said, uh, we have a we have a database mm -hmm. that when we search it, when we do a search of a name, mm -hmm. it will let us know if there's an identification card or or the driver's license. My name is Maria. I'm very sorry. I really am. This doesn't make no sense. We're not getting nowhere. What's your date of birth? I guess we all just got nervous. What's um, your date of birth? Six, seven. Six, seven? Yeah. Okay. Why'd you give me a false name? Because I, I don't know. Just scared. Why? What, what would make because you scared? Because I missed a court date for a ticket, and I was scared to get my name because I was scared I might get When was your court date? Um, December. Okay. What I'm going to have you do right now is I'm going to have you just have a seat in the back of the car, um, and we're going to research it and to see if you have one, okay? This officer right here is going to have you have a seat in the back of the car here for just for a second. Okay. Can you step out of the vehicle one, please? Sure. Okay, just do me a favor and turn around right here. Can I ask you why, sir? You just do me a favor and I'll Can explain I talk it. to you one minute? Please? I'll explain to you in a minute, okay. okay? I just want to talk to you for a second. It's okay. information you can use. Okay, okay. that's okay. fine. All right. Wanna... All right, turn around okay. for me. All right, James, behind your back. Can I give that to her? Let her take yeah, it? Yeah, we'll just leave it right here. Okay. Go ahead and walk up here the back in front of this car real quick. The reason why you're being placed under arrest is because your license is suspended and you know it. I, I, honest to God, I told her that I did not know. Okay, you you were, you for a okay, minute, please. You, okay, in a second. Okay. okay. You were given a court order on December 17th, given by a judge, for your license being suspended. On for the 17th? On the 17th of December for your child, for not paying child support. No, I paid child support. Matter of fact, I got the receipt in my wallet right now. Okay. That's been taken care of. Okay. Honest to God, I made a payment of almost fifteen hundred dollars in one whack, and I got the I got the receipt in my wallet. Okay, we'll but get can that. I give you some, if you okay. if I give you some information, will okay. you please give me a chance, sir? Okay. And I'll G go. Give me a second. I'm gonna put you in the back seat. And I'll right. come back I and talk to you. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah, if you want to look, it's in my it's okay. in my wallet. I got the receipt and everything for it. I know. I know my shoulders killing me, man. I know I can't. Go ahead. We've done a first initial search of the vehicle, and here we've got a, a pill bottle that was stashed underneath the dash that belongs to the driver. He's got several different multi-type of, of pills in here. 
Okay, you understand why Maria's going, right? No, I, that's what I was asking. All right, Maria's got three warrants. Uh -huh. She's also being charged with giving a false name to a law enforcement officer uh -huh. when she first initially gave us Trisha. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. And, All right. and Eddie's being charged with what? He's got his license is suspended, suspended as well as of possession of controlled substance. Okay. okay. Is that, is that, is that a, that's a felony? Yeah. She gets to go home tonight. Why these two here get to go down to the jail? When I first started working here, I worked graveyard, and it's so hot at night that it feels like it's daytime. And that is when a lot of criminals like to go into gear. I think heat makes people more irritable. And if that's one thing we see, as soon as it starts getting hot here, the calls for service almost double. Pearl 384, I'm at uh, Lake Mead in Ellis now. I'll go out with him. Okay, copy. Three George, disregard. Three is equal. Okay, we got it. Three Okay. We're going to do a car stop on a car that looks like it's pretty beat up. A lot of these cars don't have insurance or anything like that. But uh, it's probably just looks like some traffic stuff. Huh? 3 frame 15, 467. 3 frame 15. Nevada will be at Pecos and Osage. Copy. She got tape holding on tape. How you doing? I pulled you over for a couple of reasons. Well, I know, the back end of the car. Yeah, the I'm back of your... Your car. It's the only reason I'm driving. Oh, you're trying to get her to work? Yes. Is this your car? No, this is Carlos' car. Who? Carlos. Is there any reason you have your seatbelt on? Oh, I was in a hurry. Does it have seatbelts? Yes, it does. Did it, was this originally a convertible or is Carlos making no, this a convertible? Carlos is making it a convertible. This is the Carlos project here? Yes. It, do you have any um, registration. registration, insurance, and all that good stuff in your license? Um, yes, my driver's license is in my trash bag there. You know what? Why don't you do this? You look for the insurance and registration, and you just get your license and come back here real quick. What's Carlos to you? Just going right here. Just a friend. Oh, really? Yeah, he's just going Just stand right here for me real quick. No, front, in the front. Front, front, front. He's just going for the door. Right over here. OK, so your license is good and everything's legit except for the equipment stuff on the car. my license is suspended and I have two traffic ones. Really? So how come you're driving? She needs to get to work and she has a baby to raise. What is she What is she to you? She is my best friend's niece. She lives, I live with them. Oh, really? Have you been arrested for anything before? I've been arrested for traffic warrants. Anything else? No. And do you know what the bail no, is? No, I take that back. I had a warrant for possession of marijuana, and I that's why I got arrested and my warrants. OK. It was taken care of. If you're honest with me, I will be very, very fair with you. But if you lie to me, then I'm just going to treat you like anybody else. I don't know OK? What when was the last time you did speed? Look oh, at me. Look yesterday? at me. At what time? Oh, about early morning. You smoke it? You don't smoke it? No, I smoke it. Open your mouth. Go ah. When was the last time you smoked? I smoked cigarettes. When was the last time you smoked speed? Look at me. don't remember, really. Well, who should I ask? You eat it, too. So is that why your inside your mouth is all jacked up and everything? So, but think about what we're talking about right now. Your license is messed up, this car is falling apart, and you're under the influence of methamphetamines and driving through a school zone. OK, well, we just named, I named about 90% of the things that's going wrong with this stop right now. While I'm running you, I want you to think about what it is that you would want me to do that could make your life and everyone else's life better, OK? Think about it. We got this car that we just pulled over that's basically falling apart. And as soon as I started talking to the girl, I noticed that she had a lot of um, indicators of being under the influence of um, methamphetamines. And a lot of people can't notice them, but since I deal in, in an area that has a lot of speed, I know. And then there's a dilemma that comes into play. She was honest with me. and. Um, Obviously, if she could stop doing drugs, she would, she would want to. So what I'm thinking about right now is what's the, the fairest way to do my job to the best and, and help this person who's also a citizen. What time do you have to be to work? 
In five minutes, you got to be there? 3042, copy the trigger. All right, do me a favor. This is kind of weird, but she's got to be to work in five minutes right up the street. Could you just drop her off at work so we're not making her no late for work? No Thanks. Problem. Listen, I'm going to let Hex him to take you to work, and I'll just deal with her separately, OK? Sorry, Mr. If she goes to Joey, let me know so I can call. I'll, take, I'll figure it out right now. I'll I just want to make sure you get to work, OK? I already told you that car's being towed, right? I understood that. You know you don't need to be on the road right now. Right now, you need to reflect on everything that's happening to you. What is this? Who's a D.A.R.E. graduate? Pardon me? My son. Your kid's a D.A.R.E. graduate, but you could, yes. but you use. Do you, do you ever listen to some of the stuff he talks to you, talks about? Yes. And does it make any sense to you? Yes, it does make sense to me. What are these things, eight things to say no? You carry this with you, and do you know what these I eight things are? I one day I'll get the strength to I hope that you do, and I'm not really, honestly, I'm not trying to come down on you hard. I want to see you do better. If it was the case, I could throw you in the back of the car, have your friends sit there, and do everything to you. I really want to see you succeed. What are the eight things it says to say no? Do what you know? You don't, because you're not really paying that much attention to it. Why don't you read that? No, read it to me. Oh, saying no thanks, giving no reason or excuse. Expected refusal to keep saying no. Broken record. Walk away. Changing the subject. Avoiding the situation. A cold shoulder. Strength in them. Do any of those things make sense? All of them do. Well, how about you mark today as, as a new day to start towards positivity? We're going to get rid of this old trashy car. You had it towed, and you start dealing with your kids and life in a different way, okay? Is that fair? Yes. You are going to get some tickets, though. You're going to take care of the other stuff, and you're going to walk. You're going to have a long walk, and then you take care of what you got to do, all right? OK? You're welcome. Today we're doing another buy bust. It's not our traditional buy bust. Uh, what we'll be doing is we will be purchasing uh, drugs from street-level dealers uh, from within a vehicle, although the vehicle is different. This time we're using a yellow taxi. So we have a yellow, ta a yellow taxi already wired and ready to go. Um, Detective Walsh will be driving. Officer Kidder will be with me in the rear. We will be acting as uh, passengers. All right. We got uh, the three people in the cab. Even if the guy wants to get in the vehicle, we have our guy driving, and we got our two undercovers in the back. Obviously, the whole thing is safety concern for everybody involved. Hey, as you guys know, there's a guy in a blue uh, tank top by, by the alley, by the alley. What's up, dude? Yeah, Howdy. get in, man. Hang on, man. Hang on. We're tight. We're tight. Uh, can you fit, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go right around him. Right around the corner to my little brother. You got right. it, buddy. And go straight and make a left. Into the complex? Go right here, right here, right here. No, nah, man, I, 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 I have been ripped off too many times. You know, nah, I want man, to I'm not, I'm not going to rip you off, bro. Here's, give me two. You give me half. Or you, I give you half now. Bring back the other two. Bro, ain't no sense in me house that my little brother stay right there. I ain't with no Bro, I'm going ready in and out, bro. All right, man. All right. Shook me up, D, please. And hopefully you score him some dope. Hopefully get the guy in and get the dope while they're in the car. And then uh, we'll be able to move him and affect the arrest on the guy. All right, Brent. <laughs> yeah, my little cousin, he, he got pissed off just a while ago because I brought y'all here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, baby, you got my two? It's a done deal. We're going to move in and do the takedown the, uh, in this van here. Uh, hold on, dude. What's wrong, man? My car is dying. OK, go. Velasco, Velasco, Indian. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Turn around, Harold. OK, they got it, guys. You can up uh, Indian tomorrow with uh, Velasco. Hey, where you going? What are you bringing these people out here for? Get up, Harold. Don't be coming back. I ain't got nothing on me, bro. I don't sell no drugs. They can go. My name is Harold. Yes, sir. I ain't got, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't done nothing wrong, bro. Oh, man. Huh? That's, so that's nothing, bro. That's, that's, that's baking soda. You can test it in everything else. That's baking we'll soda. Wow. That's baking soda, bro. I swear to God to you. That's baking soda, bro. I ain't, I ain't done nothing yeah, wrong, bro. We're going to test it, all right? All right. Tested. You're going back right now for sale of a substance in lieu of. Bro, I didn't sell them nothing. You could check. You could okay. check. 
You can take them, bro. I didn't sell them anything right, straight up. Hey, just get in the car. Oh, he's just going to sit there and deny it. I mean, we saw what's going on. He's got another packet of what he says is bacon soda. We have to test it. And uh, our job is to make sure that we get them put away. I didn't sell them anything, bro. They, they, they asked me, did I have any coke? I told him I didn't have no coke. I told him it was bacon soda. He said, well, I'm not going to buy it if it's not real coke. So where'd you get the 20 from then? My mom gave it to me. I wouldn't lie to you. Get in the car. Bro, that's my Where'd you find the money at? Right front pocket. Then that's our dollar. I mean, we know where it came from. Rich has a copy of it, so we're good. Not worried about it at all. Exactly. All right, you guys ready? Let's go, Let's go for one more. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Hey. This is dead in wrong. Yeah, uh, I think they're. I can't understand what she's saying. She's trying to direct them somewhere. Uh, All right, guys, you're going to be down the dead end. You see, he's got the girl in the car. Um, she's going to be taking him down to a dead end street here where we have some problems with drug sales. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're gonna try and set up in an apartment complex. Just pull over the car without over here, okay? Uh, How many you want? Two. Yeah. Two hard. Yeah. There you go. There's all 40. Sweetheart, yeah. no, please don't rip me off. All right, me and my girl from Atlanta, we're hurting. I'll be right back. All right. She's pretty out of it. As long as she comes back to the car, we're good. Mm. She's got my money. All right, Ross, she's on her way back. It's going to be another car takedown if she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, no, she doesn't need a ride. All right, we're going down the end of the street. We're going to pick this girl up. She's walking back into uh, the village. All right, she's going to boogie in a minute. Let me see your hands. Right here. Get your hand out of your pocket. What are you doing with those guys in the cab? They, had, they had wanted to buy something. What they uh, want to buy? They bought drugs. From you? Yes, sir. Well, where'd you get it from? I, did, I had them on. I already had them. You already had it? Where'd yes, you, sir. Where'd you sell them? They, they wanted. They had. They had forty dollars. And where'd you get them for forty dollars? I, I gave them forty dollars. Crack? Whatever they asked me for, sir. Well, you said you had it on. You have crack. You have powder. Nothing. Ain't nothing. No. Are you gonna smoke with this? Yeah, that's my stem. I get high. All right, Barbara. You're gonna be going down town. You're gonna rest the sale of cocaine. Okay, I can do that. You can do that? Good. Glad we could help out. We'll be over here, Barbara. Okay, let's get her out of here. See if we can get another one. Guy with a white t-shirt, light blue hat, blue jeans. What's up, man? What do you need? Two for 40, bro. Two for 40. I do what? Give me 20 for that call. I'm a little bro, that's, that's, what is that? Yo, 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 we make it right. We just, we just low, man. We'll be All good. right. Where the 40 at? Right, hey, right here. All right, thanks, bro. All right, done deal. Gonna be walking. Done deal. Give me a description again, Rob. We're uh, sliding up. Glasses on. He's got a white T-shirt, blue jeans, pants. Just put the blue hat on? That's the us. That's him. All right. Right there. He's going to book. Oh, I can... oh, I'm down. Go down. Let me see your other arm. OK, look, look. <laughs> Sir, I just came up here and bought a dinner. I ain't... Mm. <laughs> What's in your hand? I ain't, I ain't got nothing you get. I, I ain't in your hand. I'm not resisting. You I'm yes, not sir. resisting. Right up on your side, sir. Uh -huh. Sit up. I'm left. I'm left. Yeah, yeah it, was in his pack. it was in his pack of cigarettes. I got Why don't you come over by the van? We'll get you out of here. Grab Waiting for a car to come get you. Huh? Grab a cap. Yeah, we'll grab that. Just walk past I'm going to grab that. What? I need to talk All right, went well. Taxi cab worked out good? Yeah. Happy was, in there? It was great. Nobody really questioned it, did they? Not a, they don't even look at the driver at all. It's strictly straight to these guys. Right to the deal? Yeah. Got repeat offenders. Right. The guys just got out, so we're good on it. All right, let's uh, go out another day, use the cab, work well. Let's try it one more time. All right. All right. Sounds good. Baker 34 arriving. We're arriving on a domestic where somebody stabbed the other person with a knife. Call just came out. We're right in front of the complex. Three Baker 34 advising, apartment one. We've been here before.
call the police? Yes, I did. What's going on? Where's the you knife? Me with a pair of scissors this Where's time. she at? Upstairs. Upstairs? I told the. Uh... All right, sit down. Where's she at? Okay. What's her name again? Misty. Come out here. Let me see your hands. Touch me in this. Misty, come out here. Let me see your hands. Drop whatever you got in your hands. Oh, come down. Down. He... come down here. Come down here. He punched me in the Come chair. down here. He punched me down. down here. Just get down here. my cat. He kicked him and everything. I couldn't get down out. here. Sorry. Get outside. I couldn't do anything. Why are you still here? Because he, he won't. Drop me. what's in your hand. No. Stop oh, resisting. Yeah. Relax. I didn't do anything. Drop he what's in your hand. It's my phone. Stop pulling away. I didn't do anything. Stop Please. pulling away. Please. Stand up. Spread your legs. He's lying. Spread your legs. He's lying. He put, take, take the, okay, 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 okay. Stop oh, resisting. Yeah. Relax. I didn't do oh, anything. Right. Relax. Relax. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Put your hands together and stop pulling away. You understand me? Do Don't anything. turn around. Every time I'm out here, you're moving out. He's getting you evicted. It's the same story, and it never changes. So guess what? Somebody's going to jail tonight. Because I'm here investigating a call where someone's stabbing somebody, and you're the one that's pulled stabbing somebody, and you don't want to listen to me. You don't want to stand still. Please don't take me. Please send it off. Please save my cat and everything. Do you have anything illegal on you? I don't know. I don't. You don't know if you have anything. No, I just changed my pants because I didn't have. If I do, he did it, and then I'll... If you do, he did it? Yes. How high are you all right now? I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not. That's why I'm messing him. I'm not messing him. What got in here? Oh, my pills, because he's been stealing them. Forgot about the tweak? What? Forgot about the meth? Oh, my God. See, oh, my God. Look I at that. It. Jim, I don't believe you. Take the fingerprint on it. I even had alcohol. Looks oh like you're close to snort the dope. Can't you tell these aren't even mine? I just changed my pants. Can't you tell they don't fit? All right, have a seat for me right here on the curb. And, and, and when I brought that to his attention, I didn't put that Trophy in. That is not court. mine. Please take the fingerprints from it. I've dealt with these people before. Right. Every time we come here, they don't get along, and he's evicting her the next day, evicting her the next day. Her husband, wife, or just No, nah, they're just roommates, but they're ex-lovers from a long time ago. Okay. She's saying he punched her in the stomach. He's saying she stabbed him with scissors. Bare minimum, she's going to jail for the tweak. But Is he a tweaker, too? I don't know. He's like an old guy, like borderline handicap. Probably just lets him in. So uh, okay. if you can go talk to him real quick and get his side of the story. It's the first apartment right there. How's it going? Oh, I'm fine. I did all right. What's, well, what's the problem tonight? She's in the process of being a bit. I really don't know. I have no idea what set her off when I came home now. Like I say, I've been home maybe 45 minutes. Uh, as soon as I walked in the door, she started screaming something about it. I'm going to kill you. So I said, might be serious. I grabbed my camera and had it down here. I went up the top of the stairs. And she's sitting there with these damn scissors and went like that. I put my hand up and stood back and placed the camera. So if you want proof of the actual attack, it uh, might be a little blurred because I was ran back downstairs right away too and called you guys. I didn't think. So how did he get the cut? What cut? The cut on his arm. He has no cut on his arm. He does have a cut on his arm. I didn't even have scissors. I was cutting the... Left arm or right arm oh, cut? These scissors wouldn't cut. These scissors Who said cut. anything about scissors? Stand up for me, Missy. All right. I don't believe you. At this time, I'm just letting you know your charges. You're under arrest for possession of methamphetamine because that tested positive for meth. You're also under arrest for the little straw that you used to snort it, which is drug paraphernalia. And oh then you're also under arrest God. for domestic violence for cutting his hand with the scissors. I didn't touch him. Okay. I swear you can tell I that to the judge. Touch him. Okay. What? I never cut him. Just stay right there. Face the car. Just have a seat for me. What Make sure I? you don't fight or anything. And in the future. When a police officer grabs you and is telling you to stop That's fighting and to put your hands behind your back, you don't fight with the police anymore, okay? What am I supposed to okay? do? Will you tell you're, me? You're supposed to not fight with the police. 
I when we're trying to put handcuffs on you, you don't pull away, you don't pull your hands away. Don't when we tell you to put your hands behind your back and spread your legs apart, I that's what you do. I didn't cut Okay, him. sit back for me. Near him. Okay, well, he has a cut on his hand. Oh my God, he did it himself then. Okay. Well, you also got the meth, too, in your pocket I that I found. I sit back for me, okay? Oh my God, I told him I was going to change my pants. <gasps> I was proud of being clean, and he was jealous. <gasps> that's why Jeff didn't come back. James, sure. how's it going? I'm sorry. Well, fortunately, right. this is the last time you guys will be out. All right. How do we load this music down? I got to talk to you real quick. Sure. Okay, James. <laughs> She's going to be arrested tonight for battery domestic violence because she cut you on the hand. Yeah, you so, guys live together. So minor. It doesn't matter. By law, it's mandatory arrest. I mean, this time she stabbed you in the arm. Next time, no it's going to be in your stab. heart or no. you're going to stab her. No. This time she went to jail. I mean... Well, you know better than this. Take care of the problem so we don't have to keep coming I, out here, okay? I do. Okay. Just got a call come out saying uh, someone is calling dispatchers on the payphone saying that someone is trying to kill them. Uh, the dispatcher is trying to get further information right now. We're just up the away from it a uh, little ways. We want to head that way? Yeah, let's go ahead and jump this call. It looks like it's going to be a, a pretty good one here. You're clear. All right, here we go. I was getting some updates right now about a uh, person uh, putting a knife to her throat. And she's away from the residence right now. Sounds like she's calling from a pizza place. Clear. They're saying she's uh, waiting for officers to arrive at a pizza restaurant that's right around the corner from the city college. Good job to do go ahead. Yeah, he might have got loaned. It looks like they're probably having trouble finding it. Where's she, where's she live? Where's she at? This right The blue house on you. Did he go back to the house? He go back to the house. I just run to the pay phone. OK, OK, relax. We got enough people here, OK? Calm down. I threw my instrument with the gun on my own. You what? I threw my instrument with his gun. Threatened to shoot her with the shotgun. Yeah. OK, does he have a shotgun at the house? Yeah, inside the house. OK. And does he threaten to kill you? Yeah. OK, can you tell me real fast? I know you're talking to this officer. Can you tell me really fast what he did to you tonight? Uh, tonight? After I get out my work and then we have a meeting, so I go back to a meeting, so he just comes to what we're meeting, and then he just put me in well, the restaurant, and then he tell me to get in the car, so he just hold the knife to me. So what I kind, of, what kind of knife was it that he held to your throat? It's an American knife. It's long and brown. Like in, like for a kitchen? Yeah, kitchen knife. A kitchen knife? He, yeah. he said he was going to kill you? Yeah. He okay. I'm going to go home and get out the kids. It's okay. You're okay. You're going to go home and do what? My kids. Okay, your kids at the house? Yeah. All right, uh, this individual we got over here, Asian male, apparently involved in some type of disturbance uh, where he held a knife to her. In addition, uh, mentioning that he has a uh, shotgun and held it up to her. So we're thinking this guy's possibly armed. We're going to take every precaution that we have available to us here. We're going to set up on the house. we got an airship above, so we'll see what we get from here in a minute. Should be just around the corner. We're just getting more details now from the victim about an incident that happened yesterday with a loaded shotgun to the head, threatened to kill her. That has been confirmed, and we still have more units. We still have more units coming on scene. Dan, walk toward the light. Put your hands up again. Copy, that's not primary. Dan, walk toward the light. Stop. Got crossfire now. To your left. OK, walk straight. Walk towards your neighbor's house, front yard. Now walk backwards. You know where we are. Keep walking back. Keep going. Keep going. You're good. Keep going. I'll keep going. Keep going. Stop right there. Stop. Drop on your knees. Go down your knees. Okay. Watch the porch. Who's coming? I got down. the porch. Okay. Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back. Palms together. Behind your back. Can you, are those your kids coming out? We're going to do a quick inventory search of this house. Uh, the officers have located a weapon. We're going to make sure we secure that so it's safe. None of the kids are getting injured uh, after we leave, and then we'll be done here. Yeah, firm. We're uh, coming in the front door now. 
Yep. Was it loaded? No, it was empty. It was empty? Yeah, we got ammunition back there. 12 oh, gauge. you do you yeah. do have the ammunition here? Yeah, 12 gauge. It was right where he said it was, huh? Yep, right behind the bed there. Okay. You want to tell me uh, your side of the story about what happened out here? Well, my wife. I'm sorry? Well, my, my wife. You, yeah, just tell me, if, if you want to, uh, tell me about what's going on out here, the whole thing. I was just waiting for her. She said, you got meeting. I just went over there to get her. You, you, went, you went to get her from her meeting? Yeah, it's already done, you know. I just got mad a little bit that she lied to me saying it takes three hours meeting. When you were mad, did you do anything that maybe, you, you know, you shouldn't have done? I didn't see nothing else besides, like, hit her. D did you ever hit her? Before, I never hit her. You never have before? How about tonight? I just hit, I slapped her one time. You slapped her one time tonight? I her. That was it. Uh, you guys were in the car when you slapped her? And you hit her in the face? You slapped her in the I face? beat her up like some guy beat each other up, you know, not like that. No. Sure, sure. Just to make her understand what, what I'm feeling. Okay, I appreciate your uh, cooperation for the interview, okay? We'll talk to you in a little bit. This is the knife that we recovered that uh, he held to her throat, uh, threatened to kill her and the children. Um, and uh, also had a gun in the house. She was concerned that he was going to come back and uh, kill the family. Hello, ma'am. <coughs> okay, you, you folks okay now? You all right? All right. Yeah. What's your first name again, ma'am? Your. Your? Okay, yeah. your. All right, I just want to come back in and make sure everything was okay with you. You kind of understand what's going on. He's going to be going down for domestic violence. Uh, and I want you to know you did the right thing by calling us, especially for the sake of these little guys around here. Can't have that uh, stuff happen. And so uh, our primary objective, obviously, is to make sure everybody's OK. And uh, any anytime something like this goes on, make sure you give us a call. Did the right thing coming down there, OK? okay. Thank you for all you guys helping me. No problem. If you need us, you call us again, OK? You did the right thing. Just our job. Everyone calls New York a 24-hour town. Vegas is the 24-hour town, and I love both cities for different reasons. Like, here, <laughs> in New York, you're not going to find anyone in the desert sleeping in the back of their car with the door open in the back, no less. Um, you'll find it on the subway. Yeah, there's a lot of differences between the two. And I can't say I like one more than the other. They just have their different merits. A guy's driving around, supposed to be running over kids the air unit is in a park. Available. Where did you want to and his car, Fly over, Toyota, uh, Toyota 4 be west of Vegas Green black and Toyota 4 uh, There's a desert lot. Uh, Sometimes show me a ride on that 415 as well. being the first one there is the worst. Being getting there a little bit later, oh. you can end up running into the car, just strolling down the street. So sometimes I just take my time. Control three easy four. Are we supposed to have any injured parties on this? Hold on. Frank 15, code red. Units, code red. I got a, a Toyota 4Runner 154. A BMA has a subject held down. I am on Las Vegas Boulevard, south of the Bluebird Mobile Home Park. I'll have my redheads on. They'll be able to see me. All right, what, put your hands up. What do you got going on over there? They broke my windows on my truck. How many of them are out here? How many people are? three of them over there. Keep your hands up. OK, I need a unit to stop over by the Bluebird Mobile Home Park. This is going to be some subjects that broke into this guy's car. Um, he said that they should between the Bluebird and where I'm at right now. Okay, you can let him go. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. They broke my windows <laughs> on my truck. My other truck over by uh, my house. I didn't even break your okay, window. Okay, stop talking. After me. Hey, and do me he, a favor. Cuff this dude. Cuff this dude for me real quick. I only got one set of cuffs. Excuse me, sir. And he was eating me right now. Well, you know what? If you broke his windows, I'm not surprised that he hit you. I didn't hit. I didn't break his windows. Look on your shirt. Hold on. Step now. back over here. Where was the, where'd you last see him? Come over here. Would I last see him? Yeah. No, where'd you last see the other ones? Right over at the taco place. At the taco store. Did I they look like him? They had old clothes. They didn't have, they had a shirt. Ball head like this? All of them was kind of short hair. 
The one that I have right here has a shaved head um, with um, baggy dicky shorts. They was over there by this taco store. Over that new store. Hey, hold up, you gangbang? Yeah. Who you kicking with? Grandpa Corte. You got any tattoos? Nah. Hey, get to the boulevard. They're gonna have to go through this wash. There's a double. Grand Park Locotes? Grand Pride Locotes. Brown Park? Brown Pride. Brown Pride Locotes. Okay. Troll Frank 15, this subject is claiming to be a member of Brown Pride Locotes. Um, he said his other people that are with him are also gang members. All right, what we need to do is we need to get the PSR to go ahead and take a report. Where is your house at right now? Calamation. Okay, and that's where the other car is at right now? Yes. It's, it's in front of, on the corner. Do you need an ambulance? Huh? It's in my neighbors. From what? Because he driving me right now and he trying to hit me. Why, because you broke his windows? I didn't break Your friend did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe he thought it was you. How was he supposed to know? Well, he shouldn't be all he, he pulled like a rod that. out on me. Look at this. <laughs> this was his getaway vehicle here. Um, but obviously it wasn't fast enough. This is when people decide, you know, enough is enough. You're not breaking into my car and taking the stuff that I heard that I work for, you know? Good thing you caught the guys, though. My son, we just had some guys working in my house. So my son said, Dad, they running down. Oh, OK, so they weren't breaking in. They were just breaking it. Yeah, they were just, you know. Being malicious. And that looked like from that crowbar thing that they had. They swung it uh -huh. and hit That's it down. That's what that was. Yep. So he heard, he hit that one. Your son hears it. They're still coming this way. Yeah, they running. They running. And my son say, Dad, three guys running down the street. And this all look this glass, all this glass. And then when I come out, it just go check your vehicle. When I went and checked it, then I got in my car and went down there. There it was. Okay, this car. Which one? Oh, look. <laughs> they hit it a couple of times. While you were standing there? I was in the car. You was in the car and it. Yeah, they hit it a couple of times. It's the one that we caught that was swinging that thing. I don't know. He didn't swing it at me. He pulled it on me. No, I need to know the one that hit the windows. I don't know which one hit the window. Right now, you don't know if, the, if he was the I one. don't know. It was all three of them. I was in the car, and all I know is they was throwing rocks at my car. I don't know exactly which one threw the rock. I can't say because I was in my car, but I know it was them. Right. OK. Let me ask you a question, man. Get out. Put yourself in that guy's shoes, man. He's sitting in his house, chilling out. Somebody busts his window out. He comes outside and goes to find out who did it. And you guys act the way you act. Don't you think that that guy has some kind of reasoning behind what he did? I mean, look at your bike. Obviously, you care about this bicycle, right? Yeah. Where the bike at? Somebody would have tore off one of the, the um, the um, rims of your bike, what are you gonna do? And he had three people with him. What are you gonna do? You gonna chase after him or you just gonna say, oh, okay. Do you see where we're coming from with this? You gotta stop being stupid with this, all right? Come over here. You know the only reason why you're not going tonight, right? Because that guy said that he, he wasn't 100% sure that you were the one that did it. Now listen, he could have been a jerk and he could have just said, you know what, that is the one. This is the only one we caught, that's the one that did it. But he was fair. You got to think about that in your own life, man. Start thinking, all right? See you later. All right. The area I work is what they call North Central. On a busy night, North Central will have maybe four deputies covering that entire area. Your nearest backup might be, you know, 10, 15 minutes away. So you really have to be up on your people skills, you know, to keep that situation under control until your backup gets there. Right now we're going to residence. A lot of history at this house. Uh, usually I'm either arresting him, one of his sons, or his d girlfriend, Dana. Apparently tonight, Dana's decided she wants to move out. Apparently giving her some problems with her getting her I things out. I'm going to go over here and see if we can keep things under control. Oh, I think 
How y'all doing tonight, sir? What's going on? Uh, what it is is uh, there's a conflict between me and the gentleman on the house. Which house over here? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, he's gonna come up with all kind of crap. I uh, saying I stole. Just tell me, you tell me your, your side of what's okay. going on. My side is she's got a court order to be out of this house by twelve. Out of this house. Out of this house by twelve. All right. I got what guys I could get from AA meetings and hey, it's over houses. Come over and help us move it out. Okay. And then, you know, that's all we're trying to do is get her moved Is he out. preventing you from moving it out, or what Yes, sir. He, he said sir. he doesn't want us on the property. Okay. You guys hang tight for a second, okay? Yes, sir. They've been here for and robbing. I don't want them guys coming up here taking nothing off my property. Okay. How about them just pulling the trailer up? That way they can load their stuff and they can get out. All right, I'll have people help, but I don't want them gentlemen that's out there with her. Officer, I've been pleading with this man to sober up, and he won't stop. I practice spiritual principles. I go to church. I'm a Sunday school teacher, okay. and he will not stop. Okay. Evidently, listen, listen, God listen, listen, sent listen, listen, these people listen, because listen, you listen need now. help. We're not going to get into I, another I, argument. I, I'm not, not, listen, I'm listen hold on. Just be quiet for a second. I want to go second. get my stuff. Just be quiet for a second, okay? All that stuff that happened prior to prior to tonight, I'm not even worried about. That's something between you two. You don't have to air Actually, out your dirty laundry. sir, okay. this is my life. If I associate with this man anymore, I will go to prison. Okay, that's why we're going to get your stuff right now, and then the you have to come back. The judge told me today, if I have anything more to do with Robert, I will go to prison. Now, I'm not willing to go to prison. When I work a 12-step program, I don't drink, hey, coach, I don't that should drug, be good enough and I tell practice coach. spiritual principles. Yeah. Mommy, I guarantee you, if you don't let me have all my stuff right now, I'll call Social Security. You ain't gonna call me, you got to call. You're not taking my bed. You can I, have that house. You, you can have that I bed back there, but you're not taking my damn call. bed. Expect me to sleep on the floor. I, I'm just telling you, if you don't let me have all my stuff, I will report you to the city of Austin for stealing the lake. Who you report me to? Social Security <laughs> and also for not having a permit. Go give him a hand, Rob. They need you in the house, man. Hey, hey, ask for the muscle. You got the muscle, man. That's all I'm saying. You robbed me yeah, three man. times. And she dope in my house. Let's just not talk anymore. Let's, let's, let's just, just pretend you don't know me. Because I will never talk to you again, and you will suffer dearly for the crimes you've committed. Well, that's, that's fine. I can't pick it up. I'm telling you. You're almost there, man. Hey, pick it up. That's fine. I'm not picking it up myself. Why don't you tell him about how you prostituted me? All right, Daniel, whatever you say, I believe you. Yeah, that's all I am is this whore. Yeah, I'm telling the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yeah, that too. That's mine too. Dana? Yes, sir? How much more stuff are we talking about, Mel? Is this full? Full of my summer, winter wardrobe. Hey, you're beautiful enough for me to train my gut. Please don't hurt yourself. Come on, pick it up, Timmy. Push it my way. If you hurt yourself, it's because of ball. I'm already hurt. I am too. You got to go real low through that door. I am low. You ain't low enough. You're not low enough. Oh, I load them down. I load them down. Come on. Officer, I'll beg y'all just please stay here and let me get this stuff We're going to stay as long as we can, man. I'm I not have gonna, been You got to go down the lower. I got to go across the street. Damn. That pops open again. Y'all got any tape? I got a dolly out there, James. That might help a lot. My worst nightmare is my clothes. I guess that's every woman's nightmare. All right, sit it up for me. It ain't gonna work like that. Oh, brother, you gotta go out this back door with that. I'm sorry, baby. Gosh, dog it. No, I'm going out the front door if you need it. I just gotta get it set up. You ain't gonna make that out the front door. I think I pulled it through the back door. Right. Where's the back door? Where are they going? Here, dear, behind the oh, oh, good God Almighty, Lord, Heavenly Father. Let's move. What the happened light. to the light? Okay. Let's move this ironing board and stuff out the way. I guess okay. that's alcoholic's way. Daniel, what are you talking about? You're an alcoholic, Bobby. It's two doors. Well, Daniel, you've been for all your life. You I have not been an alcoholic all my life. You quit three months ago. Why did you big No. Deal? I, Bobby, you, I have quit many you, times. Why are you talking about yourself? For because I don't want to be drunk and I don't want to live with the drunk. Honey, nobody, I want to live for God. Nobody's drunk, Dana. And your life is for Satan. You're everything I'm not. Put your hand on top, man. Thank God I lost 25 pounds. And we're going to have to leave here in a minute, so y'all have to handle this on your own, okay? 2010, 
We can't stay here all night. Y'all move the whole house. Damn door, no clothes fell out. That's what I was thinking. Find you some duct tape. Tape that door shut. You don't have to worry about that. But we out of here then. Dana. Yes, sir. Can we have to leave? Okay. May I have your card, officer? Yes, ma'am. You sure can. I appreciate you. God no bless problem. you. Thank you. I just want to live a clean, sober life and do God's will. And this is blocking the sunlight of my spirit. Okay. I appreciate y'all coming out. If you have any problems, give us a call well, that's back. That's a pretty card. Ronnie Thank you. Hawkins. Yes, ma'am. That's me. Well, you've been very kind, sir. All right. Um, Good luck. Okay. I, I think he'll um, cooperate because I've got a whole bunch of stuff on him. Okay. Hopefully he He's will. He's a wicked criminal. Just get your stuff, leave him alone, he'll leave you alone. Yes, sir. Everything will be good, all right? I appreciate it. Atlanta's just, uh, it's beautiful, especially at night. You know, it, it has a lot to offer. You got a lot of uh, attractions, such as the uh, Fox Theater, Atlanta Braves, Falcons. Uh, CNN is, is always quite popular with people. When I tested down in Atlanta, the first time I came down here, uh, pretty much fell in love with the city, stayed in a hotel downtown, and was just blown away by the buildings and the architecture and pretty much all the, uh, the places you can visit from the CNN Center to the Atlanta Zoo. Atlanta is a beautiful city. Uh, we have another officer who is behind a stolen vehicle right now. We're uh, about a mile away from him. We're trying to catch up to him right now. He's following a, uh, a green and colored Volvo. It's coming back stolen vehicle out of the city of Atlanta. Passing, uh, coming up on Come on, get, get behind one, 172 to 108, we're uh, a car behind you. Negative. All right, hold on. 3172 to radio, we'll be on hey guys, James P. Brawley at Bankhead. I can't be on James P. Brawley at Bankhead, you haven't stopped. Yeah, it's firm. They're pulling over. I can't be having a stop. Hands up! Hands up! Face down, face down, face down, face down, face down, on the ground, on the ground, face down! Ah, my ankle, sir, please, my ankle. Down, down! What did I do? Down! Come on, man, this ain't even my car. What did I do? It's not your car? No! God, we don't take my sister's car! Okay. This is my friend's car. What did I do? What's up? Ah! Behind you. I'm a f***ing ankle. All right, all right, all right, man. Chill, chill. I got a metal ankle in this car. This is hurting, please. My ankle, please. Okay, okay. Okay, that better. Not a metal ankle. Not other ankle. Please move it. Please, 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 please. Ooh. Stand up. Ooh. What the hell is going on, son? What's going on? I was going to the club. She let me drive the car. Jello, please tell them, baby. So this is whose vehicle now? It's your friend's? My name Jessica. Let me use the vehicle to go to the club. When did she let you use the vehicle? She let me use the vehicle like an hour ago. Okay, where where is she at right now? Oh, right now. What understand? street? There's a lot of streets around here. What street? So I don't even know. Okay, can you stand up? From here. Okay. Can you stand up? Okay, kick your feet up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's up with your ankle? Is it? I got a metal ankle. Okay. Okay. Do you need an ambulance? No, I just got my feet caught up on that car. Okay. I don't even know what's going on, okay. baby. Let, here, come here, come on. Let's walk over here. Are you needing an ambulance? Sir, so I am a gay black man. 3172 right now. I have been in trouble for no, I have never been pulled over before. Like 172, before. Uh, go ahead and start a Fortis location. Be an 18 year old black male complaining of ankle pain from a previous incident. J Lo, call her, let her know. Le call okay, her. Le okay, listen, this is the deal. Okay, listen to me, look at me. Okay, the tag on that vehicle is coming back as a stolen license plate, okay? Call her. Okay, 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 settle down. Okay? Okay, but listen, 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 listen. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen, okay? You're not necessarily gonna be arrested or anything like that, <laughs> but you're driving a vehicle with a stolen license plate on the back of it, okay? So we're gonna need you to work with us, okay? I'm gonna have the ambulance come out here to check your ankle out, okay? Man, I've been locked up for a stolen car before when I was 13. I can't do this no more, man. Okay, well, you got arrested for being in a stolen vehicle when you were 13? It's a, it's a stolen vehicle yeah. out of the cab from uh, April, April 6th. Ooh. Okay, all right. And the license plate's stolen as well. License plate's stolen. Okay. What's going to happen is we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to confirm if this vehicle's stolen or not and the license plate, okay? Please, and then what we'll let do? Me take you to okay. The and then then what we're going to do? Then, then, gonna do, then what we're going to do is we're going to try to make contact with the person that you got the vehicle from and see what they have to say. But if I they, just know her from the club. 
that's the only thing I can say. I know from the club, okay. she's my gay sister. Hey guys. Hey, uh, go ahead and have him a seat right here. He's uh, complaining of his left ankle hurts. He, I think he's got a plate of some sort in his ankle, and okay. we were getting him out of the vehicle. I think he might have twisted it. Come here, sir. What you can do is you can sit in the back of the car and have your legs hanging out, okay, so you won't be in the car. Let's see right there. Let them roll up. Go ahead and pop the shoe off with your ankle. All right, uh, sir, ma'am. You can call me wherever you feel like. No, 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 no. I want to respect ma you, okay? Ma'am. Miss? Yes. Miss, Miss Jasmine. Miss Jasmine, okay. Tell me what's going on. When did you get in this vehicle? Five minutes ago. Actually. Five minutes ago. And it was like no more, I could say no more than seven minutes. I just got he just came and got me from my mom's house. Y'all can call okay, my mom. You live I don't on know Summit Avenue. Going okay. on. I His, never been in Have you ever seen him drive this vehicle before? No, I haven't. And that's your boyfriend? That's my boyfriend. How long y'all been together for? We've been together ever since Valentine's Day, February the fourteenth. All right, and you had you have no reason to believe that this vehicle was stolen? I didn't know. I'm okay. serious. Do you see that the side window was broken out at all there? I noticed that when he got to my house, but that's okay. no problem. I don't think, you know, I see a lot of cars out here with does, does he usually drive a vehicle? Does he usually? Yeah. I haven't seen him drive. He would drive, like, his sister car every now and then. Okay. You probably I mean, see, if you're looking at it, you what, probably wouldn't even see my fingerprints on oh, the car. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. It would just be, no, 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 my no, hands fine. was in my lap, okay. my purse. I probably didn't touch no okay. more than well, the extra. You're, 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 you're in the passenger seat. You're in the passenger seat. So what happens? Okay, you're not under arrest. You're only being detained, okay? But you're in the passenger You're in the passenger seat of a stolen vehicle. I don't mind talking, but that did it. All right. I don't need to see what we need so you to do it. is to tell us everything that you I need to know. I told you. I'm telling you be now. Be as honest with I you am. as you I can look can. in your okay. eyes straight okay, forward and tell you. I appreciate that. Honestly, make my I, job I a lot easier. I'm honestly okay. telling you the truth. Right. And that's so, the truth. Just came down here from my house five never, minutes okay, ago. Okay, okay. You've never seen him drive this vehicle before? Never. Okay. All right, again, hang out here for a minute. The investigator talk to you. We'll take you back to the precinct, and then please, I can take you to Grady from there. Please, just let me take you to her. I can't do this. I can't. You see what we got to do with Huh? You got it from the front? Yeah. So he didn't let the investigator talk yeah, to, him. to him. Handle the situation. Could y'all just now, call right? the person, whoever car is, ask them who took it from them. Okay. Ask them if it was a male or a female. Because okay. I don't do drag. Only thing I do is live a normal life. Confirmed stolen vehicle out of DeKalb County, as well as the uh, license plates confirmed stolen out of the city of Atlanta. Yeah. So the uh, rest of the driver for. Uh, driving a stolen vehicle. He gave some information on who we got the vehicle from, and we passed it on to the investigators to follow up on. He's a good catch, man. That's a good lick. For today's qualification, we have a little uh, restaurant scenario, and our officer uh, will be responding to a situation here of an unruly customer. This individual has come in the restaurant, he's had his breakfast, and then rather than leaving, he's uh, been disrupted. Now, when you start walking from here to there, I'll be right behind you. When you hear the buzzer of this shot timer, that's your signal that he has drawn a gun. React to that. All right. Crouch. Take the fight to him. All right. Okay. Put your eye and ear protection in place. Whenever you're ready, walk. Sir, Santa Ana Police. I need to see your hands. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to do a simunition exercise. Now step over here, please. This is going to be your next target, and stand right about there. In this situation, if the suspect were to pull a gun or knife on you, he's too far away to try for a takeaway. So what you've got to do is come out of the holster and shoot as fast as you can. The fastest way to shoot is one-handed because the gun doesn't have as far to travel. You're only bringing it out to here as opposed to here. So what I'm going to ask you to do is on the buzzer, draw your weapon and fire two shots one-handed as fast as you can. Obviously, you can stick the weapon out a little bit further this time because he's, he's beyond arm's length. All right. Whenever you're ready. Great. All right, once again. Great. 1.01 seconds for your first shot. And we'll do this to your out of ammo, okay. which will be pretty soon. Great. 1.32 seconds. That's it. You're done. Thank you very much, Sergeant Witt. Uh, we're checking this area. It's uh, got a lot of complaints of gang and narcotics activity, so we're going to take a drive through and see what's going on. And looks like we got something going on up here. Go so get out and talk to these guys. Hey. 
Hey, sir, please, please. Get your hands out. Let go. Roll around. Open your hand up. See what did I do? What'd you do? Riding an unlicensed bike. <laughs> what does anybody do down here? No, no, okay, don't, don't get frog here. I'll break your Let leg. us do it. I'm not. Roll over on your Open stomach. Open your hand up. Open your hand up. Okay. Roll over on your stomach. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. You worry about me, hey, not Are you hey, I'm not gonna do nothing wrong. Then, then quit Roll over your up. stomach. Quit Put your legs out behind you. Quit oh. stiffening up. Put your legs out behind you. Hey, I'm gonna do it. Do it quit I'm stiffening cold. up. There you go. He did not want to play with us, so. I didn't want to play with you. I did you. You on parole, probation? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah you got a magazine. Where's the gun, Slick? What's that? Where's, where's the, the gun? gun? What gun? Well, the magazine the goes to it. Where's the gun? Uh -huh. Hey. Uh -huh. I don't want to find the gun on you. I want you to tell me where That's the gun is. That's the clip that I had. We know it's a clip. I'm, I'm aware of what it is, Ken. I don't know what damn movie that I saw. What happened? Uh, it's just a damn movie that I saw. You saw a movie, so you had a... Uh, hold on. Get down. Right here, Sarge. Why do you do that? Right it? here, Sarge. All right. Hold on. I, I don't want to get it. It's right here. Holy shkamole. Oh, nice, Watch it, Dan. Nice piece. It's cocked. Looks like it's cocked. Yeah, it's ready to go. He's got rounds yeah, in his pocket, too. Time. One in the chamber. Beautiful. We got uh, four extra ones. You on parole or probation? I already told you I'm not. No, you told me you didn't have a gun, either. I yes, you did, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry. You told me it was a Hold movie on. you suck. Right. I don't Hold have on. anything else. I'm... Hey. Yeah. Hey, put that leg back over. Come here. No, come hey, here. Hey, come on. You guys are being very unfair. Nah. <laughs> Lying to the police is unfair. Carrying guns with the police are chasing you is unfair. Okay. Okay. Bring him this way. You don't have to be hard. I'm not going to resist. Don't turn your face away. Don't look at him. You know, I don't know where you guys are treating me like that. I'm not a. Let's, let's get him up for a second. I got treated that way. Check his shirt pocket. All right. Spread them out. Hey, come on, Spread dude. Them out. Like, hey. Who are you trying to act cool? Hey, where you know Power down. Right? Spread right. your legs out then. Spread okay. your legs out. You, you're going to be cool? Spread them out. I am. More. I respect you guys. You, guys, you know, like, if, if you respect me, you know, I'm sorry I, I lied to you, you know? I don't usually lie, but. Was it respect about telling the truth? Is this respect? Somewhat, but this... not knock me around like that? Hey, What's, what the hey, hell is that? Come on, I respect you guys, and you guys hey. are treating me pretty good. Is bad. this how you earn respect? Hell no, that, that thing is, is nothing to me. You know what I mean? Well, it's not, right. It's nothing. It's a deadly mistake. You're lucky tonight. It's, it's pretty much uh, typical for a stop down here. You don't know wh what you're going to get, whether it's just beer drinking or uh, drugs or something more like a firearm. It's a, a pretty uh, cheap firearm, a Steyr uh, 45, but obviously it'll still kill you. It's uh, loaded uh, with uh, six rounds, one in the chamber. So it's a, it's a good ending. We got him in custody without any problem. Uh, he wasn't able to bring the gun into play, and everybody's going to go home safe. I'm originally from Huntsville, Alabama. I moved to Atlanta about five years ago. Recently got married and transferred over to Gwinnett County. It's, it's been a great change. It's a really good department. There's a lot to do. Mine is out here looking for drugs. The people that are involved in that kind of activity are the ones leading to uh, robberies, burglaries, approaching kids selling that stuff on the street. I like to do what I can to get rid of it. We're gonna go check out one of our uh, apartment complexes here. We've got a lot of problems with it. Uh, drugs being sold, people buying and selling. There's a lot of foot traffic in the area. So we're just gonna see who's out and about tonight. Hopefully we'll run into something. Dude's dipping. Uh, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Move. He, went, he went in the apartment here. Whose apartment is this? 
That's, I live here. You live here? Yes, ma'am. Who yes, is that that just ran in? My own brother. Get him out here right now. 942, where are you today from near Where are you at? Who? Cool. You live here? Yes. Okay, can we go find him, please? Just had a signal 80. I'm inside the apartment now checking. Pop up. Where's your ID? I stay here. Huh? I stay here. Why was you running from me just now? I wasn't now? running. Oh, you said he had dreads. I wasn't running. Turn around. Turn around. Th this is your son? Yes. Does he live here? No. He does not? No. OK. 139, can you provide further? Uh, I'm inside apartment 14. The subject now, I'm code 4. How old are you? 22. Where do you work? Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Apartment. Slip this jacket off. What's up, man? He was in the parking lot. And he took off running. So, where's mom? Mom. I didn't run. No, you, you you ran. I didn't run. You said he does not live here. No. When was the last time he lived here? He been in trouble with the law before. Yeah, of course he has. Okay. Is he out here selling dope? Did you know of? Not that I know of. Where did he go when he ran in the door? Hmm? When he came inside the door just now? Did he come straight back here? Yeah, because I was up in the kitchen. He came straight I, to this room? Yeah, and it, I, I thought somebody just busted in my door, and I was... Yeah. You know, what's going on? We're not going to leave until we find whatever it is you had here. So, I mean, I, I'm here until 2 in the morning. I, I'll stay here all night if I have to, OK? It's up to you if you just want to come clean and see what we can do for you, OK? Just think about it. You ain't got to answer me right now. Get on the ground. Give me this arm. What'd I tell you? Hello? Is there anything else in this room? Because we're going to keep looking, buddy. That's, you got it, so. That's yeah, it? Yeah. 10 4. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And you have a warrant. Just by itself? Yeah. So he. You know he's bringing this kind of stuff into your house, ma'am? What stuff? Come here. Crack cocaine, marijuana. And he's got a warrant. Now you. Hey, Ma, that's Monique on the phone. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not answering that phone. Up. Put that leg up. I'm going to stand you up, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and go. I'll get my hat. What do you need your hat for? You don't need your hat to jail, man. Come on. I don't want you to have it anymore. I have a seat for me. You don't think I can get a smoke a cigarette? Though. Smoke a cigarette? Yeah. No, no not I'll right wait. now. I'll wait. This stuff's bad for your health anyway. It is, but I ain't eat a D, This life, life's bad for your health. Life's bad for your health. It is if you're doing this kind of stuff. Well, you understand what's going on here tonight? All I know, he busted in my door. He busted in your door? Yes. Because I asked him, why are you coming in like that? He said, I got to use the bathroom. That's all. He was I was in the kitchen. He was in a hurry? It, it seemed that way to me. Yeah. Has he done this kind of stuff before? No. No. Never? No. Never. Ever. You known him to sell or possess drugs before? No. Never? Never. OK. Well, tonight, we got about 15 grams of marijuana, 10 grams of crack cocaine, and about $300 in cash. He told me that he does this kind of stuff on the side. He sells it to make extra money. All this. Yeah, so, I mean, this, this isn't the he, first time he's been. But he's not brought up like that, and he knows that. Yeah, you didn't raise him he that know, way, did you? No, I don't know. I've been a single mother all my life. He knows that. Everything I'm saying to you, he already knows. If I well, get evicted tomorrow, me and my kids don't have any place to go. I work hard for everything I got hey, in my apartment. You don't want him to come back, do you? I mean, tell him that, and we'll give him a criminal trespass from your apartment. Tell him that I don't want him to come back? Yeah. He knows that he can't come back here. 
Well, I, I just need you to tell him that in front of me so that I can witness that you told him that he's not allowed to come back to your property. Oh, that way, if, no, you come, if he comes back. Come back here. You, Johnny, d d come on, man. Talk, talk to her. Do you, do you understand what that means? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm hoping not, I'm hoping not meaning what I think it means. It, it means you're not allowed to come back to your mom's apartment. What's, what's for that, what any you reason. I'm just I'm just barred from these apartments. I can deal with that. You, you're barred from your mom's apartment, and you're going to be barred from the property after I talk to the manager. I mean, you understand what all he's going to be charged with? What is he going to be charged with? Well, I mean, the, the, he's, he's going to be charged with obstruction of a police officer because he ran from me. He bars in your, your apartment like that. The possession of crack cocaine. Po the dough, that's, that's possession with intent to distribute. The possession of marijuana and abandonment of dangerous drugs, okay? Because he threw all this stuff in your little girl's toy box. That's where he hid it. Well, it's summertime now in Vegas. We're hitting our triple digit mark. It's days like this where it's like to go home. My wife and I like to relax in the pool. Take it easy. People are out here on the street a lot more now that it's warm, so our street crime is picking up quite a bit. Up here on the right, it looks like a man has just grabbed a woman. Right here. It's going to be two times uh, Swenson. Come here, man. Come here. Get off the bike. Drop the bike. Step over here in front of the car. Right here. Right here in front of the car. Get your hands out of your belt right now. Step over to the front of the car, put your hands on it. No, the front of the car is right here. You too, hands out in front of the car. So, you know why I stopped the both of you, right? Okay, I'm driving along. You look like you're grabbing onto him, he's grabbing onto you. You're on a bike. What's the story? You talk to me first. Okay. Come over here. We just love her, you know, had a little spread. Okay. Your lovers, you had a brawl with her, or what was the story? No, we had a splat about something that happened. What? Okay? Something is what? No, but a situation with somebody else that happened. Is she with another guy or what? No, someone. Okay. She okay. with another guy. You're upset about it. What happens next? Oh, uh, she started arguing all the way back. As we're getting closer to the house, she didn't want to go up. I was holding her by the way. She was trying to push away. You were holding her by the waist, and she was trying to push you away. And that's what I saw right there. Okay. Why would you be grabbing onto her waist like that? We had to get it together, you know? That's all. It's no big deal. But, you know, if she wanted to leave you or she no, wanted to go her no, separate no, ways, no, just... you don't need to be getting a hold of her hands, do you? No. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. What's the story with the fingernail polish? I uh, just track the pictures. <laughs> they, come in, they come at you and they ask you, why <laughs> are your fingernails black? So it's just a conversation piece for the most part, huh? You got it. <laughs> My electric bike should go off. All right, that work. Leave her right here for a second. I'm gonna talk to her for a minute, okay? Come here, hon. Okay. Hey, you, you, think, you think she's with another guy? And what happened? He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I understand that. And then, you know, what happened here before I saw what I saw? Tell me, tell me, take me, take me home and, and probably kill me. She says he's gonna take you home and kill you. He tells me right away he, he he paints his fingernails that way to attract other females. And then he's upset with you. He's obsessed with he, me. He's upset and obsessed with you apparently due to the fact that uh, was... that you're with another that you were with another man. Right. So he tells you he's gonna yes. he tells you he's gonna take you home and he tells you he's gonna kill you. And you obviously don't want to go that route. What happened what I saw right here, that little scuffle? What was that all about? He's been he's been my neck should have marks on it. He's been pushing me, throwing his bike into me. The whole way, right? Yeah. And I feel threatened by him. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know he was this crazy. Put your hands behind your back, boss. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Not being arrested? Yep. Battery domestic violence, sir. Did I hit you? Huh? Did I hit you? All right, I don't want you to talk to her anymore. No, I got your side of the story. Me. I got her side of the story. Can you take my bike back and the bike home? Jump on sure. the back here. I got the air conditioner. 
Okay, this, ma'am, this is your bag? Okay, and you don't mind if I take a look through it real quick? And, you, and your ID is in here, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't have anything in here we need to be worried about? Contraband, needles? My husband, myself. Who's your husband? Oh, you got a husband who's not, that's not your husband. That's your boyfriend. And you've been living with your boyfriend, though? But you've been trying to take care of your husband? What's the story? Does your husband have an illness or something like that? Or? Yeah. What's his, what's his problem? He just slowed down a little bit. He just what? He slowed down a little bit, so I thought we had a relationship going. So you figured you'd step out on him and just for basic physical needs and stuff like that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. This guy is? This is the note that he wrote? Life is not what I see my vision too bad. He's been living with us for two, two, two and a half months. Oh, so he's been living with you and your husband. Right. Ah, so this is part of the weird triangle that's already inside the, the, the family unit there, inside the house. Am I right? Right. Well, you know, I, I don't want to blame you for any of this, but, but at the same time, and I don't want to preach to you, but you might want to think about some of the decisions that you're making in your life. I know. You know, I mean, had you done probably what you know to be right in your own mind, things wouldn't have gotten to the point that they have today. You see what I'm saying? Yep. But I, I think he started probably getting super possessive of you as the relationship was built on, and then he finds out that you're out talking to somebody else, and he automatically thinks the worst, and the next thing you know, he's going to... Yeah. He's, he's going to kill me. Yeah. He almost broke my neck. All right, hey, I got the lowdown already from her as to what's going on, okay? You're friends with her husband, and you've been living with them. Hey, listen to me, all right? And you and her are having a relationship, okay? Now, not only are you household or family members, you're lovers, okay? You can't lay hands on one another. You know, if she ticks you off or makes you upset, you can't reach out and grab her, grab her by the hair, grab her by the throat, grab her by the back of the pants, shake her like that. Okay. It looked really bad. The worst thing is, you know, how am I going to explain this to my friend? You mean her husband? I don't know if I got the answer for that. That's the worst part, you know? Yeah. Because he doesn't accept this. And he's a good friend of yours, and you've been messing around with his wife pretty much since you've been living there. And he didn't have a clue of anything that was going on. I don't know. Was, was, tell me this, was the story basically that they invited you into their home because you were a friend of theirs and they, you kind of had no place to go? I don't know a way to pay them. I mean, I didn't, I didn't initiate it. It's still the same. You know, you may not have initiated, but you participated. So now we got to deal with it. 12 hours, tomorrow's a new day. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.